Ludwig's squad. big thing, I would say, in college, he would go to Mill outside of bars and he would interview girls and be like, <laughs> <laughs> What's your body count? <laughs> hey, we're on Venice Beach today. <laughs> yeah. Gay son or thought daughter? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ludwig Anders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Batman. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, dude. Just kidding, dude. Dude, I'm just kidding, dude. Hey, hold on. I'm Batman. <laughs> What's hat? What hat is that? What are you wearing? This are hat. We... Are we gone? It's, it's nut. Yeah. It's nut hat. Nut hat. What does that mean? C- come on out. Come on oh! out. Come on out, sweetie. Uh, there he is. It's a small slide, by the way. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. That was what an adult man. That's right. Goes down the slide. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, round of applause. Hey. Hey. So, See, how does it feel that Ludwig only wanted you on this show after you demonstrated your value it, don't from it being like on a popular video? Being, like, slightly don't famous on the right. It feels accurate. This is this is this is nut. Get AKA. closer. Yeah. You gotta eat the mic, Get, Yeah, bro. eat the phone, mic. Phone. You always be real close to it. Hell yeah. With your mouth. This is nut, a.k.a. Cam. We went to college. We all went to college together. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all there. Me and, me and Cam back in Manzanilla. Oh, fuck, bro. It was crazy. Bro, we watched Nelk Boy videos, Tucker, <laughs> and we play Tucker. <laughs> yeah, we watched, we watched Tucker. Well, we watched it, we'd watch it to make fun of it. Yeah, no, it sounded like it. Well, I didn't make it fun of it. It started as like a making fun of it thing, but then it was like, <laughs> but then, <laughs> then he was kind of like, man, we talked a lot about like freedom of choice. Yeah, a lot of good <laughs> points is all. And and then we play uh, uh, we play a lot of Madden, and it, we got fucking high as shit all the time. It was fucking this dope. This is actually was, pretty accurate to your college experience. Yeah, I feel it was like, like Nelk Boys, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So dope. Tucker. Hey, rest in peace, Tucker, huh? Yo, I miss old, good to see I miss old yeah. Tucker. Back Tucker, when, he's out. Do you hear? Yeah, back when uh, Dominion was just a Call of Duty game mode. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. That's hey not man. anymore. Anyway, I, it's not. Ex- so, this is probably, I think, the first guest that Ludwig has said, hey, let's have this person on. And we were like, oh, yeah, sure. But it's so interesting to see him fighting for one of his own. Yeah, Thanks, man. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I, I've been a day one nut fan. Yeah, we, we, we go way back. We go way back. We did Tempe late night together, and then you had a you had a budding music career. I used to play your music on stream. I have some of those clips. That was very nice of you. Did you? Like yeah. you just kept them? No, people like sent them to me. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. What music? Uh, I do like like. Can you play jizz, a sample? Of I don't rap music. Ass. Jizz rap music. Zipper? Like uh, I used to do like stand up. We were in like a comedy club, right? right and right. I just started making music, like kind of. Same vibe about cum and things. Uh, you Your know, logo like that. that you made that is on that hat is a semen that looks <laughs> it's like good you. logo. It's a good logo. It is a good logo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I asked him before this what that was. He said me as a jizz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be fair, it does look a lot like you. Yeah, I, I used to like glasses. Me. Yeah, it does look like me. I Young feel nut, like I don't need like like yeah. remix featuring Dorian Coulter and Lil Quirky. Dude, this is like this kind of looks like if um. Like if Prezzo made a manifesto a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it does look like his final message. <laughs> I love this song. Thanks. This one is your biggest. Can you turn it up? Yeah. Like the original one, but yeah. This one's, I think, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little QWERTY got on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was Young Nut. That's tight. Back in the day. Uh, and, uh, and then I, and then I left you're yes. what, when would you graduate? 2020, 2019? Uh, I was like, I graduated early, but it would have been May, 2020, May, 2020, but I did graduate. Like, What's December. your degree in? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Hood My degree was in talking to hot girls. And I, got a, <laughs> I got a 4.0. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was film. Summa cum laude. No, it was film, sad, cloud <laughs> makeup. No, yeah. No, I, just, I it got was an a, English degree. It was Arguably thing. equally worthless. I mean, it's the thing where it's like you graduate and then you have a film degree from Arizona State. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, when you're in the ride, you don't realize what it's like. When you're, actually, <laughs> you're fighting for this piece of paper, then you realize, like, damn. But you can tell your friends that that's a Dutch angle, like, when you watch. Dude, I've never met anyone <laughs> who is, like, proudly told me they have a film degree. Like, every, every time I'm like, hey, what do you go to school for? They're like, ah, like film. That's good. But, well, it's because it's obvious they're not, like, directing Jaws 4, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's goal. Do I look like shame. I'm directing Jaws 4 right now? <laughs> Kind of. That's the movie bit. you jump to, Jaws 4? Well, yeah, it's like the movie everyone's waiting for. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, this is, I know it's about a shark. Dude. Yeah. I've heard about you that. Know movies are sick. When there's like, <laughs> when they're, you're like, they're like in the ocean and uh-huh. they're on a boat and everything's fine. And then they, they like look like down the, in the distance mm-hmm. and there's a big wave. <laughs> what movie is this? A lot of movies. Those are my favorite movies. What, you like long movies? <laughs> where there's like, where it's like a guy on a boat and then he starts looking like, oh no. And then someone else comes out and they go like, whoa. And then it shows in the distance. And there's like a really big wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a this film is, technique. This is like one movie ever. No, it's, that's like six. And this is called this is the Dutch Angle. This is called the Dutch Angle. Uh, they teach it in film school. A lot of you guys wouldn't know. Symbolic. This is Manzanilla. Thing. I didn't. I didn't. I was in Manzanilla. To, we would have. This. See, we'd have movie night after Nelk and after Tucker. Uh, we <laughs> actually a short film wow. contest. In our you tell me the order is Nelk, Tucker, then movie, and then short film Dutch. A- we watch a lot of French New Wave. It was eleven yeah. hours. So we spent eleven oh, hours shit. in the dorm. Eleven hours. Awake straight. Uh, a lot of Adderall, which was fun. Uh, you ever get crazy on Mill? I mean, I know you did, but like, Bro, like together. Yeah, <laughs> like, without saying, me. You though. were just setting that up because you know, like, we were. I know crazy. you were crazy, <laughs> oh bro. You're so fucking you sick. Fucking you know. go to ASU. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's just, no, you just, call it well, you just graduated early, but like, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> you just like did like extremely dope ass shit all the time. <laughs> bro, like, room kind of lit up when you graduated. Was yeah. Yeah. Everyone, <laughs> got, like, like, everyone cool, was like. Like clapping, but like only because you left. Uh, it got like way cooler, like right. the next, like the year after you. Like you know what way... didn't get cooler after no. I left? What? Tempe late night. It's not even called that anymore. Yeah. They, changed the they change it, right? They change. Yeah. What happened? I don't the charter. Know. Did, Did you change... leave it? I was in it. So you were. I was a freshman. And you were a senior. I yeah. Think. You left. I was in it for two more years, and my senior year, I didn't do it. Why? I was like the it's people washed. who I was really good friends with weren't in it anymore. Right. And I was doing like music stuff. It was washed. Was, was, well, I mean, they was were Lovey like cool? Doing, you know. Was he cool? Cool yeah, tell, you to, tell us, tell us, tell us. You don't like, understand your value to us. He bought me underage beer or drinks what? when I was underage. He committed it. That's a crime. He brought you underage. <laughs> what? Okay. No, no, he bought, he bought me, I was like 18. He bought me like vodka a couple times. Wow. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. tight. So you bought. Yeah, right. So that's right. Right. Pause, pause, so pause, pause, pause. not say that? <laughs> yeah. No, that's good. Oh, yeah. He seemed really cut up about that. Were you even asking for the alcohol or was he? No, he was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was buy one get one, and you look young. Yeah. And you're like, did you like, did he, he like threaten to kick you out of the group? No, and you, like, it was didn't the thing where like, he brought it to me, and I had to go meet him in his car, and it was like the bottle's half empty, and he was like, "Let's start driving now." Too. <laughs> And we just kind of drove. Do you want to do a that. list of illegal shit that I like to do? And then I was in the back seat, and I was like, "Ludwig, maybe we should." And he was like, "Shut up!" Shut up. And he was, you know, yeah, he does you know, get like that. Blow up like when that. he drinks, he does. Only when he drinks, blow. he just doesn't drink anything. He did blow. It's only when he's driving and drinking because he's stressed. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like the scary. drunk crashers, man. Yeah, they give us a bad rap. You, you watched Stan in college, and I did it, it buy turned alcohol. Into a weird did person. I buy you alcohol? Yeah, like that wasn't a joke. You bought me like I did. You asked me. No, I, I was like, because you were the only one. I had, we had like a group chat. You used to and hang out with a bunch it. of younger, like, <laughs> friends. Yeah, he like, yeah, he looked like nothing. Hey, maybe some, of your, maybe some of your friends can come to the was show. Like, 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 was like, any was girls, there like a know? few people that were like 16 or like 17 hanging out? <laughs> I mean, Ludwig's friends, only other than that. No, <laughs> no but no. Because you would never hang out with people that young when you were gone. I don't think I have to go deeper into this. You feel like, it feels like you do because the way you're talking. You know what's sick? I'm going to leave and we're never going to talk to each other. Well, okay, Cam, I, I've, I've kept up. I've kept up with what you're doing. I've kept up with Young and Nut. as well, and then, and then you stopped making music for a while. When? I, f- I feel like you took a, a hiatus because I follow you on Instagram. You, you used to post about a lot of the shit and then you just posted less shit. Oh, yeah. Maybe the, like 20, like maybe during COVID actually. Yeah, that was probably it. Uh, and, then, and then you popped up in a Jubilee video. That's what they're saying. People and have said people. You you were in it. I don't know why you're saying How people have said it. Well, people, people have said it though. Saying it though. Yeah, right. people have said it. You're being an asshole to my friend from ASU right now. <laughs> I've heard people say it. This is why you didn't get invited to Nelk and Tucker night, bro. Uh, and uh, you just fuck the vibes. Up. I found out because I saw Hassan react to it, <laughs> and then Kyle was telling me you've been in a couple. I don't know if you know you know Kyle. Of course, Kyle. Which Kyle? Kyle. Kyle from, from ASU. Yeah, Kyle? from Tebby Late Night. Got him. Oh Dude, yeah. Got him. Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. Kyle's a very active. Um, uh, mod like he hangs out he and chat a lot. Yeah, I will be honest. I like keep up with you, mm-hmm. but I'm not like watching or listening. Really, <laughs> <laughs> I, keep like, up. Yeah. I, just, I don't watch the pod. I don't listen to the streams. Like I'm not into the video well, shit. No, I do remember. I remember always being very proud of you. You had like a Hotels.com commercial. Yeah, and I was oh. like, and then in our group chat, we were like, 
fucking Lugu Lugu. You know they so didn't cool. pay him for that. I was so happy for you. They didn't pay me. They oh, gave really? well, they gave me a free hotel. They gave a hotel room. <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense. It's, like, like, a it's like Papa John's hotel. giving you a pepperoni <laughs> large. <laughs> that's so hey, good job on the commercial, buddy. Hey, <laughs> it's cheesy, but unlimited topics. Wait, what too. else was he like? What, uh, like what would Ludwig <laughs> in the college I days? Have, I do have a few things. Okay, I don't want to. No, you can. So the reason I cut things, I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Oh no, we don't cut anything. We won't cut. We we can cut whatever. I don't get uncomfortable. Part of the reason I wanted you to come on. It was it was twofold. One, I I wanted to see you hang out, and then two, I knew that slime, he rejoices in any opportunity <laughs> to like see me before we met. Pure into your dark me. soul. It's not just yeah. me. Well, but, it's me too. He, why would you bring me on? We met all at like the same time. No, no, no. no. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. because yeah, because we didn't hang out as much at ASU. That's oh, why. Gotcha. That's why he. So he's not familiar with the ASU phase. I was. I was. It knows in the books. Gotcha. He basically know? thinks I'm a robot, and any time before I was a robot, he's curious about. Like he thinks there's a period where I. Like, I want to know when you were programmed to start moving around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. So, so any stories are on, I have, are on the I one, do, one preliminary have, question before yeah. you start is: Did you meet him in the era that he was going by Durs or after that? That was a thing. No, okay. this is well after. I, I so went this by post Durs. I went by Anders my freshman year, which is my middle name. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, That's the question. Imagine, no, someone, comes you, imagine you someone comes like, up yeah, to you. Imagine someone comes up to you. Workaholic. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's my middle name. Dude, call me fucking Dirt. Like, <laughs> Yo, call me Troy and Abed, guys. It's, it's my <laughs> middle name, and I went by it because I thought I'd have a new start, and I'd be Anders now. Oh, you I, went right. to like go yes. into like a new. That's yes. so funny. And then I switched immediately because your old life was following you. Moving from New Hampshire to Arizona was like not enough of a reason. There were three people from my school at ASU. You. you should have to like disclose like, like an STD do. that your real name is Ludwig. You should have to like say that legally, or at least that your name <laughs> isn't <laughs> Anders. Yeah, yeah. It, it, my middle name's Anders. A lot yeah, of people but go it's by not, their... But like it's like Anders. You go by Slime. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's his and name. <laughs> At ASU, that's what it says on my diploma. Yeah. It's just yeah. a slime, the last name. It's <laughs> slime in old English font. Like, it's a gang it's tattoo. It's a slime friend of Breslin, loved by many. Yeah. It's like I died. All right, tell us about Ludwig. Well, okay, well, before we jump in, before we jump in, I would love to hear about what you've been up to, what you're doing now. Where did this Jubilee thing come from? And then, and then you can embarrass me. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what am I, how have I been? Yeah, like, how you been? It's been a minute. Uh, okay, since the last time I saw you, I've not gone back to Arizona, by the way, since graduating. I rented I mean, I don't a car. See why you would, but also that's kind of crazy. I, yeah, I rented you, a car. Like, I left here right after. Yeah, I rented that's a car. Crazy. I came here. I never came back. Wait, so, yeah. that, are you number five? Do you mean ASU? You've been to Arizona. I have not. He means like after. Yeah, I guess ASU. I never visited okay, ASU. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, we've been there multiple times. Yeah, I yeah, but like, yeah, first time. Yeah, I, I was like in college. I was doing like pimpy late night shit. Uh, one of my songs went really viral. I was doing like rap shit. I went on a t like a couple tours oh. that were like really shitty tours, but they were still like went around the country and stuff. Uh, I like talked to like labels and stuff. I was doing like the music thing. Uh, I had like probably my peak. I had like three hundred thousand monthly listeners. Oh wow! Uh, wow. No, it was like it was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, the pandemic happened. I uh like started working on an album, and I did the thing where I was like. I just graduated college and I was like, everyone was like, I wasn't getting like as many serious offers, mm -hmm. like in like negotiations and stuff because I was doing like jizz music, <laughs> which makes sense. There's some executive at a record yeah. company who's like, so it's called jizz music. Is that the yeah. genre for it sure? It came up well, slowly like, that's after jazz. I, it's yeah. like, yeah, it's like jazz music. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's the. I mean, that's just what I'm calling it. No it's one else. It's a little more romantic. What happened when white people took jazz? <laughs> yeah. No, that's pretty much. <laughs> it was. It was what we took. They from gentrified the jazz. Culture. <laughs> the uh, call is jizz and cum. <laughs> and then, and then what happened? Oh yeah, I got like a distribution deal. Uh, I was like, like releasing songs and stuff. Um. I part of that was like the suggestion that I change my name <laughs> from young because you were young to just, nut. to just nut. You know what? I never thought about how young nut could be problematic. Right. <laughs> well, don't say that. Because <laughs> like, you is, know. There, is there even such a I couldn't nut when I was young? Maybe it's more of like a fictional. What? Wait, let's. Well, maybe that. that's the problem. You couldn't nut when you were young. Well, I'm thinking like eight. Well, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. What? You well, could not when you were eight? Well, yeah, well, no, he just said young. Don't I come out your weird. Bro, I was filling up big gulps. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you were not filling up big gulps. Yeah, <laughs> you were filling up big gulps. You were filling up big gulps at eight. I watched the Brave Little Toaster and Manzanita. That is super problematic if you're at Manzanita at eight years old, which is a dorm at ACU. Well, no, we were hanging out watching like Nelkin. It was cool. You're eight. Yeah, yeah, it was Baby Nelk. We were watching, we were watching, we were watching, we're watching Baby, baby Nelk. Nelk. We were watching Baby Nelk. We were watching Baby Nelk boys go to baby frat parties. <laughs> they should watch Nelk till we fill the big goal. They were doing tiny ass sends. <laughs> they were doing, yeah, they were doing <laughs> full <laughs> sends. Full tiny <laughs> sends. <laughs> tiny sends. <laughs> baby sends. It was tiny as fuck. Yeah. It was dope as fuck. Right. Donald Trump's right. still old, still on the show though. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just fucking yeah. pouring champagne and shit. <laughs> Uh, I forgot what we were talking about. What we, uh, no, is it the coming at eight? They, they, <laughs> they, they, they wanted to change your name from uh, young yeah, so to I normal. Did. So I did. Young. I did, and it's the cleaner. issue, yeah, the issue arose where if you look up just nut. Yeah. You're not gonna find Bad meat. SEO. You're gonna find like mm. like food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So then I fell off like super hard. It was also like there are other factors. It was like the pandemic. And everyone was like oh, so worried you, about like actual problems. And I was like, what if I jizz in like a cup? <laughs> and they were like, not and they were like, I lost my time. job and yeah. my family members. So like there were uh, there were, it was more sure. than just that. Extenuating uh, factors. Yes. Dope. Nut, young nut, then what? Oh, she bars, fuck. That was sick. I don't know. Can you, I feature? <laughs> That's what yes, I, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah. Uh so then I changed it back. Uh now it's like I'm still working on songs and stuff. Uh, I have way less listeners. Like I fell off super hard, but I'm still having fun. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, I basically just that was like a, also just like income through like college. So then I got like I got like a social media job. I moved mm-hmm. to Los Angeles. Uh, I just got like basically laid off. I think. Oh, Boom. you're actually going the exact Ludwig path. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I asked for a raise, and they basically just, like never talked to me ever again. Really? Pretty much. That's tight. Yeah, it was, it's been going. So good. you don't know <laughs> if you're laid off yet? Well, no. Like I've like it's the thing. Uh, they're also like they're like nice people, but um, I asked for a raise, and then uh, they were like, yeah, and then just <laughs> progressively just never really messaged me ever again. I've gotten like a text <laughs> a month from them now. But are you still getting paid? Well, I got paid as much as I was owed, and now they're just kind of like, I think they're going a different route. But them. they're not telling you? They're just like not responding. But you're still yeah. working for them? Are you employed at a real company? What is happening? Oh, now I have to find a new job. Basically, they're just kind of trying to ghost me. You're a contract worker, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm a freelance. Okay. Oh. I, run, I, run, I was running the social media for like a popular band. Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. That's p- sorry. Sorry you lost your job. I was like, show. Now, not- now I have to find a new job. But right. I'm doing it. And then Jubilee just found you? Oh, no. I had, like, some friends, like, a few years ago who were just in videos. There was, it was, like, the musicians, dating musicians thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, like, people that live in L.A. that I'm friends with now. And I was, I've always been, like, if I was on The Bachelor, I'd be so dope on The Bachelor. <laughs> yeah, you would be. But I'm not, like, strong enough. You don't even have to be hot. You just have to be, like, strong. <laughs> strong? <laughs> no, yeah, dude, there's a show for you. Have you heard of the, oh, what's it called? Uh, I feel like the new one? Gonna this is going to hurt my feelings. No, 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 no. <laughs> ugly, small fucking thing. <laughs> uh, there's a, there's a new one. show where, like, uh, uh, like, they get, like, young guys and moms. Oh, oh milf, milf, man. Yeah, I don't want to fuck man. my mom on TV, though. You wouldn't have, you don't fuck Oh, your you don't want to be rich? No, no, all the moms are on there. No, yeah, but all you have to do is, is let your mom be fucked by someone else. You, then I, you fuck other moms. It's like my parents have, like, a good relationship <laughs> yeah and also you're not i think my about mom your would career, be bro can i just get like a fake mom yeah i mean would, you could that, I, i'm that, not your dad you i can you, you guys, can do whatever you, do you want you guys have moms that oh i've got like, moms we got moms we got moms hey. so we, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can find moms we got moms.com moms.com good website this podcast is now sponsored by <laughs> moms.com which i hope doesn't have viruses on it when you go to it, it. like juvie and then, it, we do not carry viruses like yeah. the popular drink juvie, juvie carries oh my God. <laughs> 10 things we need to normalize oh, about motherhood oh it's just like a news website what? so much just like much like juvie moms.com will give you kidney stones um okay so you don't want to fuck someone else's mom you don't want someone to fuck your mom which oh. is very nice of you to say <laughs> Which, yeah. so I'll hold off. I'll fuck someone's mom, but I would... It's, it comes with a price. That my mom gets fucked. It mm-hmm. is a monkey's paw wish. Yeah. 
That's great. It is. That's yeah. great. <laughs> that's so sick. English major. <laughs> cool show. But yeah, that was basically. So then I had some friends on it, and I was like, oh, I should totally just like apply for Jubilee. Yeah. And I did, and then I they responded to me. I did the skaters one. Um, no one could skate on that show. Also, like none of it was. There was the first one I did. It was a girl dates ten skaters. And it was just people that they've like, got had nine posers and you. Well, like I don't know how they chose it, but like I don't, I don't skate. Oh, ten <laughs> oh, so posers! You were posers. <laughs> well, I was in it, yeah. And I was the first one cut. You don't skate? I mean, like I can ride a skateboard, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm not you, don't you don't skate. You don't skate. You don't skate. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. So Jubilee's lying to me? No, they're not. <laughs> Please invite me. And so yeah, someone Please. who wants more gigs, they would never oh do God. that. I'm, yeah. Uh, but then I applied for the Riz one. Cause I was like, oh, that'd be sick, and uh, I didn't get it. And then they called me like two days beforehand, and they said they needed a person. Oh, someone wanted, dropped. They wanted like a funny person. Yeah. And I was like, hell yeah! But I answered the phone call, like the interview, uh, and I had the song "Baby" by Justin Bieber playing. <laughs> what, like, like in the, the background, background? Or like, like I, as like I answered the phone and I started playing the song. Okay. And then it was oh, you started and the was, song like, purposely yeah, because you I answered. Was like, this could be us. Uh, <laughs> and then I was like, they were like, you could be in the video. <laughs> so you try to sell it. You 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 crush your interview. Well, I figure that's how it's. I'm. That's, you raise that's the how it's yeah. done. This yeah. is not job advice, by the way. This won't work anywhere else. Oh yeah, that's else. me on the thing. Musician, oh, that's me on the other one. Professional. Yeah, bag. I haven't watched this, or I haven't watched. I haven't watched Dude, the other one. No either. way. They made you all hold skateboards. Well, we had to ride them in. <laughs> <laughs> so at least you had to know how to ride. Oh it. wait, if you skip to like the middle, I do a, a sick flip. Wait, 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 it's the, uh, go back a little bit, go back more, keep going back, this is fun, it's like he's listening to me. <laughs> he uh, is. Keep going back, keep going back. That is not the middle. Going, I think you went too far back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 this isn't, this is necessary. Let's just though. watch the 20 minute video in full <laughs> until no, we see the flip. It's like, the, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it says like round one, eliminations or whatever, I do like a sick kick flip, pretty dope. You, you landed Did you get flip? eliminated? Uh, well, yeah, well, it was, they asked us to do tricks afterwards. I totally landed it. Which you okay, yeah, he did not land it. He did not no, land it. I totally landed it. <laughs> yeah, he totally he landed it. Bro, I he landed it. do kickflips a lot when I we had were a, I school. had, like, some bits planned that I was going to do, but I got eliminated immediately. But I was going to be like, if they asked us who my favorite skater was, I was going to say, uh, probably Tony Hawk and his brother Mike. Nice. <laughs> yeah, classic. Mike Hawk. Oh, yeah, no, Mike Hawk. I was yeah. slow on that Wow, one. that's yeah. crazy. Because yeah. I, I was like, wait, does he have a brother named Mike? <laughs> No, but if you did, that would be I'm right. yeah, It would be. I'm right. And, then, and then it was I was gonna do the thing where if they asked us like what tricks we can do, if someone was like, I can do a kickflip, I was just gonna be like, Yeah, I can do like two kickflips. <laughs> <laughs> like, two like really better like kickflips. Yeah, that is better. But they didn't even ask us. But anyways, yeah, so I did the Riz one and then it just came out and that was pretty much so it. So you were I just watching casually? I was well, I saw you tweet about it too that you did the Riz one. And so then I, I went to watch it on stream. Oh, that's, that's why you went to watch shit. it. Yeah. Okay. See, check it out. <laughs> That's not me doing the. Oh, wait, keep going until the next person gets eliminated. Also, that Just... girl ate dog food. She said, "Okay." And they oh. asked her, "Like, do you still eat dog food?" And she went, Ugh, I don't know, "Me." <laughs> and then I was the first one cut, and then she was second. That is crazy <laughs> that you were cut. Yeah. Before the dog food person. Are these videos good? Is this like new Buzzfeed? I think they're great. They're like cut.com. <laughs> so. They're like they're like new Buzzfeed. Yeah, I think they're good. I think they're like they're. They're fu like fun, trashy TV for Zoomers. Yeah, they have a lot of okay. good like personalities on there. I think a lot of like fun people. <laughs> yeah. Do you, know you want to root for? I guess. <laughs> tell me, out, tell me Have you ever subscribed to something They're ever in yeah. your whole life? A lot. You ever yeah. forgotten that you were subscribed to it? Because like I forgot that you have a hard body that won't quit. I did. You ever, you ever check your your Chase account? And it's like what is ten dollars to uh, Hot Twinks only? Mm hmm. Hard bodies incorporated. <laughs> yeah. You totally forgot you subbed to that. Well, if you had Rocket Money, Aiden. <laughs> Yeah. Then you wouldn't forget because it would tell you all your subscriptions and round them up and it would unsubscribe for Over you. Over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. That sounds nice. Stop touching it. Put your tummy away for the rest of the Put your tummy away. You want me to stop touching? Love. You good? I'm doing great. You're doing good. <laughs> uh, well, look, let me keep it simple for you boys. Most Natural. Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, but their Thank actual you. total is closer to $200. The Take thing is, Slime just started a Nebula subscription, but he also forgot about his Farmers Only subscription. And he's, he's also got an amazing sock subscription. And you got too many subscriptions, buddy. So get those dogs out and start saving your money better with uh, Rocket Money. Look, you just go in the app, you press cancel on the ones you didn't even know you had, and they're gone.
Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. Oop. All in one place. <laughs> Whoop, that's for you. And it's for you, love it's it's for you love Stop. It, Stop. <laughs> Throwing your money away. And cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to... Where are we going? Do it, Aiden. Going to rocketmoney.com slash the yard. Okay. Yeah, that's Go to rocket.com, rocketmoney.com slash the yard. The yard. It's rocketmoney.com slash the yard. Get your dogs off of me. You're the one that created the situation for yourself. I have so many Wait, can we all can we all use our feet to bring nut back? It feels like how do you get on it? Do you submit like a reel or something? Like how are you? They have a casting website and they list like all the videos they have coming up. Yeah. And then uh, you, I just clicked on like a few. And then uh, they asked like a few questions about like whatever the video is. You know like, so the Riz one, it was like, what it, is your experience doing Riz or whatever? <laughs> and I talked about how I messaged, <laughs> I talked about how I messaged uh, my girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, when, like when I messaged her on Instagram for the first time. I sent her, you know, the song "Best I Ever Had" by Drake. Yeah. <laughs> I sent her that lyric. Well, I sent her a picture of my face, smiling. <laughs> yeah. And then I sent that music video, and I said, "This could be us." It's you have like one move. Cause you did this yeah. also with yeah. the baby <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. This is. Well, it's called very having, It's called being. You have Riz. That's what they're saying. People said. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to Coachella yesterday for a day, uh-huh. and someone asked to take a picture with me. Yo, the Riz video. Really? Which well, was, I was with my aunt too, and she was like, "I'm his aunt." Well, stop. Why are you with your aunt at Coachella? <laughs> she had she got free tickets. That's tight. Yeah, that's like, dope. How like, old are you? Old enough. <laughs> no, <laughs> he, my guess he's is not trying to fuck you, bro. Tw- uh, Twenty-three. 24. We 24. know when he graduated. Close, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Well, I know when he graduated. I just. I, we would get so fucking slammed and fucked up at ASU. I forgot how old. It was the thing where it's like <laughs> off, off a legal beer. It is weird that, by the way, you hung out with him at ASU because you were so much older than him. I was a professor. You were. Dude, that's you. even worse. It wasn't good. Bro, yeah. Why do you think I don't teach her anymore? He was eight. He was eight. Yeah. That makes you zero. <laughs> Are you eight years old? He's 32. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm 32. How do you think I fucking was teaching political science, bro? Poli sci, baby. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We didn't, we, but the thing is, it was chill for us to party and watch Nelk. It was not chill. I, I wasn't in the film program. You teach, you teach your poli sci seminar and then watch Tucker right out. <laughs> yeah, after. we watched him Tucker kick back. Fucking couple of, couple of icy ones. Hell yeah. Kyle uh, said you, Kyle said you ri- rizzed up a lot in college. He said you He's fucked a lot. Oh, he did, yeah. <laughs> is that every single night, basically? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really good as well. Like, yeah, I major. I, that was my major actually. Was having sex with my girls. Yeah, and then film as a minor. <laughs> minor did film. I, I graduated with honors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. That's oh, it. okay. Found Zipper it. found it. <laughs> no, so, good commit though. It's yeah, hard. Thank you. Look, kick flipping is hard. Uh, the vi- I feel bad actually because I reacted to it. I uploaded that that video that I uploaded. It got like a million views in twenty four hours. It has more than the original Riz video. You should not. That's feel based. Bad. Yo, that's fucking. That's that just means you have power and Riz. Basically, also, they take me down. We go to the Jubilee website uh-huh. and we go to the casting thing for the videos they have coming up. We just make them first. Dude, you know that's do? really. We just funny. make the video first. You just steal that's, their. It hasn't come out yet, dude. They, oh, we. Oh my god, that's, that's so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> what are they gonna do? They can't sue us. Yeah, what are we, ideas? We use ourselves. We don't need the cast at all. <laughs> we just do it tomorrow. We just do their ideas on channel Ludwig. YouTube.com slash Ludwig. And we have nut. Yeah. We have their people. We, we, take, we take nut. We took their talent. We took their talent. I have no comment. <laughs> <laughs> do, you get, do you get paid to be, like, do they pay everybody yeah, to be in the video? I don't, I don't know if they're, I mean, I'll just say it. I don't know if they'll be happy if I just am like. No, yeah, I will. Saying everything. Say yeah. the number. Because I am supposed to do we some other it. videos. We can bleep it. I was, they pay me like. No what? way! Wait, you're Are not you being real. Me? You're not being real. I was being real. Is that for the yeah. day? Dude, they, pay, is... they pay for gas. That is illegal. you're fucking kidding, right? Uh, that, that is the day. crazy. This is a joke. Uh, I don't believe you. Four or five hours. We gotta stop paying. As so much we, as we do. yeah, we just, I was thinking okay, the uh, opposite. Uh, 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 we're not gonna say the number, but there is a channel called Full Squad Gaming Zipper. If you can pull this up, that has this new series. Look up Ludwig Haters, and their whole idea is taking Jubilee's format of like we found six. Uh, uh, oh, they have so many copiers. Yeah, there's a lot of copiers. Yeah, so the, but for this full squad gaming, their whole idea is to make reactable content for streamers. So what they did is they found oh, a wow. bunch of Ludwig fans, and then they found two fake Ludwig fans. They flew everybody out, or they got everybody out, 
And then it's my job to react to the video and find out who the fake Ludwig fans are. That's oh, their goal at least. Interesting. This is the first time they've ever done this. And they got like, like um, if you pull it up, um, Dude, Sick Nasty's in it. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, imagine they get Dr. Battle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sick Nasty's literally in the video. So anyway, I watch this uh, and, uh, and it, it is way more awkward than a Jubilee video. To be fair, it's Ludwig fans. Shout oh. out. Rep. Why let everyone have their my, arms crossed, man? My day ones. Why did they yeah. stage them like this? It, 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 it was their Why first is there a slide it. and a but Kratos? I, I say, I say, by oh. the way, oh, crush it. why are you cringing? He crushed it. He crushed it. Ash crushed that. You killed it, Ash. Anyway, I bring it up to say they paid everybody here. And flights. Nah. And, and nah. well, I, I think everyone was dri dri driven. They were close. Okay. So they paid guys. And that's that's the knockoff Jubilee. That's interesting. Damn. Did you actually get paid? For one of them, the other one. No, are you kidding me? Dead Bro, serious. I deadass got paid more to come in a cup. Have you tried coming? In Do you know cup? about sperm well, banks? Well, I will say, uh, that's the one time I've uh, ever accidentally drank my own jizz was... What? What? One what? time Bro, I you was... You have to tell people this. Hold on. Well, we're on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that... <laughs> No, I like this mentality. That's my go. Yeah, yeah you're. That's well, no, game. I was. It was like late at night. I was in. I was a senior in college. It yeah. was in Tempe. Right. I uh, it was masturbating as you do sometimes. Right. <laughs> it was late. It was late night. In and Tempe. I had a red <laughs> solo cup next to my bed because I used to just like those were like my water cups or whatever. Uh -huh. uh, I jizzed in it when I was done because it was there, <sighs> and then I forgot <laughs> like thirty minutes later. <laughs> oh my god! And this... I immediately like it went in my mouth and I was like, oh, that's <laughs> jizz. That's not water. It's not that. Girls I don't do know. It. I don't know if it's girls gross do there. do it. Yeah, yeah. Why are, who are we to say <laughs> that it's gross? They, they also do it out of a soul. They, they, they don't let it later. turn to kombucha first. <laughs> 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 it's it's usually from the tap. Coagulate. It'd be like old runny <laughs> egg. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, old and it's I'm, separated. I'm, and it's I'm, just, I'm, this is this is like a like an attack on my hygiene. I don't know if that's worse than your water cups being red solo cups at your house. Dude, it was that it's might be it's man's it was man's that might be it's man's <laughs> What's bro. worse, that or drinking bong water? That's worse for sure. Oh, I no, didn't no, no. chug it. I'd I rather drink cum than bong tongue. water. I'm not kidding. You, have you ever tongue. drank bong water? I've bong, had six. Bong water is awful. It, I'd worse. rather drink cum. I'm not kidding. Yes, that's worse. Yeah. Girls do it. Girl, girls don't drink bong water <laughs> because they're feeling and it. And guys do it. And guys do it. <laughs> also, yeah. a lot of people drink This cum. literally happened to American Pie. Only the girl. Have you ever seen American Pie? I did uh, recently. It's literally, you it's one of the, it's one of the first scenes. <laughs> you recently watched, watched American Pie? Well, not like, re yeah. not like yeah. yesterday. <laughs> Stifler, Stifler. Last year, probably. But he drinks way too much of it. Uh, yeah, he like, yeah. gulps it. Because yeah. it's also mixed into a beer. <laughs> Stifler's so crazy. Stifler is, he's ASU incarnate. <laughs> that guy. That son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, so you're drinking fucking... your own cum. I'm buying you alcohol <laughs> when you're 17. What else is happening at ASU? <laughs> oh, yeah, we were supposed to talk about Ludwig yeah. at ASU. Yeah, yeah. well, we yeah. caught up on your career. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're happy to have you on a place where you can feel where your talents can be nurtured instead of you getting cut day one. Because I haven't <laughs> seen those videos, but I think that you're probably funnier than all those people, which I is, is you my were funnier than ever. Well, in fairness, video. I was not a good skater in the first one. No, you weren't. So the Lee guy <laughs> hearts out to him. Oh my God. Which guy? Oh, the guy on the Riz one. Um, who, uh, who got last? Errol. They're calling him Michael yeah. C. Jordan. Yeah. Oh, the guy who got no, last. Michael the guy who C. Got last. Jordan oh, is yeah. so funny. Oh, yeah. Michael C. Jordan won. I'm talking about the guy who got last. He's so dope. I love him. Michael C. Oh, he's so sick. Yeah, yeah I believe it. I love <laughs> it. He had Riz. He's no, he's he was. I was like getting nervous in the green room. Just talking to him, bro. He's so his eye. He like stares at you. He yeah. rizzed like, you incredible. in the green room. Oh my god, yeah. I yeah. was doing a bit. I was doing a bit the whole time. Like we should like do Riz on each other right now. Yeah, we were going, like, <laughs> do, do Riz <laughs> like it's magic, <laughs> yeah, like a card trick. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah. So let's talk about let's talk about what this like, cocksucker was up to at ASU. Bro. Oh uh, yeah, I barely saw him in the quad. So he was like the news guy. <laughs> oh bro, at the quad, he was always just fucking hanging out. <laughs> Dude, I told you, I told you, there was a quad. Ludwig's, Ludwig's quad. big thing, I would say in college, he would go to Mill outside of bars. And he would interview girls and be like, <laughs> "What's your body count, <laughs> dude?" If Ludwig grew up in the in the fucking TikTok Zoomer phone interview age, he definitely would have been doing that. By the way, if I did that in 2016, that'd be cutting edge. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. that's how I got fucking. You think you think going break. up to drunk girls outside of college bars with your little microphone and asking them in if 2016? they've done in 2016? Yeah. In 2016? Yeah. 2016? Yes, this is cutting no, edge. This is like, dude, this was in 2012. All right, well, don't talk shit about Ludwig's content. I think he's a good content creator. <laughs> I'm sorry to be to make fun of your content. 
he's can, he's come really far a uh, long way with it. So <laughs> appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for having me back there. Yeah. So that's pretty much what he would do. Is he would just be I like, wouldn't do it. <laughs> <that. laughs> well, like on weekends, not like for yeah. like AC Comedy. What, was, <laughs> what, were the, what were the weekdays like? I don't know. I was you were I, you you came to the shows sometimes. I what was know. your we first were too busy talking to drunk girls outside of the bar? <laughs> <laughs> what was your first impression of Ludwig? Uh, oh yeah, okay. No, but he didn't do that as far. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. We, but uh, he was the news guy. What does that like, mean? Well, yeah, what does that mean? It was, it was like kind of like SNL formatted, so it was like the weekend update. Oh, oh yeah, we had like a weekend update type beat. And then I ended up being the news guy after Ludwig left. Oh, okay. So you had some big shoes to fill. Um, or I did know. you? How, what size shoe were you? Okay, well, like about about the same. Yeah. So wait, what was your first impression of <laughs> him when you first met him? That was the thing. I mean, he was nice. He was cool. He was cool. Uh, Did, were you like, this I, guy's cool, or was he like, were you kind of like sus of him? I mean, I didn't know about the whole like drunk girls outside the bars thing. <laughs> had I known that, okay. it was. Outside of that, what did you think? <laughs> I mean, I, no, you were like sick. I don't know. You <laughs> yeah. bought me, you were like nice to me and bought yeah, me stuff. Yeah, a bunch of booze and shit. <laughs> when he left, did people like talk fondly of Ludwig? Oh, everyone loves Ludwig. Oh. No, yeah. That's I, a kid, man. Yeah, I will he, say, this is a thing. Okay, but also, there's a whole thing. He, I don't know if this is still a thing. Do you still have, like, a huge ass? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. No, everyone was just talking about how fat his ass was. <laughs> wow. I have pictures on my phone of, like, his ass. What? Not, like, your bare ass, but, like, okay. from the back, like, in shorts. What, was, was I aware? <laughs> so I'll pull it up. <laughs> okay, sure. Dude, that's crazy that your ass left a legacy. Yeah. No, that was, like, a thing. Dude. So that was, like, a bit with him is that he had a huge ass and people touched it. Wow. People touched it? People touched my ass. Wow. Like asking you first, right? Uh, most of the time. <laughs> Ludwig's a cool guy, though, so it's like... It's it's also, he loves attention. If he if Ludwig goes into a party and everyone's like, I want a piece of that fucking big juicer dumper... <laughs> I would feel uncomfortable. Right. You would feel uncomfortable? That is us. Yeah, that is us. Look at us. Was on the, he was doing the news thing. Aww. Hey, the first off the sticks. Aww. Yeah, it basically was. Well, because I want it to be a late night... Yeah. Show host. Yeah. Send that to yeah. Ludwig. We'll put it up on the podcast later. I don't have his number. <laughs> interesting. I just find that interesting. What? <laughs> he just left college and deleted my number off of my phone. I have your number. <laughs> you have my number? Why do I not have your number? Wait, you don't have... Because he deleted it off your phone. That's what he did. And yeah. he didn't want you to contact. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't have your number. Yeah. Interest I just find it interesting. Not... Well. Yeah. Uh, no, but that was... Uh, he just had like a big ass and it was like nice. <laughs> And like smart. This is the one thing where uh, this is another thing that's like kind of like gossip, little tea. Ooh. That I don't know if you want me to not say. Goss, it. say okay. it. We can cut also. But so after Ludwig left, the next year, some of my friends were in just like the far side. Those, yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. That was the other sketch comedy. Yeah. Group. There was a rival. So well, no, well, oh, yeah. the the origin of Tempe Late Night is that there were three big comedy troops on campus. It was far side sketch comedy, which is like 40 year running. Yeah. Then there very tenured. Was then there was Bear then in there Mind. Then there was the Nelk, the Nelk no, Boys too. No. <laughs> then there was Bear in Mind Improv, which was like the second. It was like the B tier. And then there was the, the stand up, which was like anyone could do. It was open mic kind of. Uh, and the origin of Tempe Late Night is this guy named Forbes. Weird guy. Enigmatic guy. Didn't make it into any of them. Uh, and so. He wait, made, how do you knock it into doing Open mic stand up. Open mic. Uh, the, yeah, like, you have to be a problem. Was, <laughs> that's kind of how he weaseled in because there was auditions for the other two. Yeah. And he was the representative for the open mic one. And then as the representative for the open mic one, he would like pull some people and he'd be like, yo, if you want to meet like Tuesday, like uh, we should chat about like this thing I'm working on. And then that <laughs> thing was Tempe Late Night. Which was basically all the rejects from the actual comedy groups oh. getting into the new one. They formed their own nation yeah. state. So they, he pulled me because I was rejected himself. He pulled uh, this guy named Jake, Jake Yardley, who was rejected. <laughs> and then he, he sniped this guy named Alex, Jake's twin. And then that kind of formed the basis of this new thing that was Tempe Late Night. Which was very scrappy and literally made from pure vengeance. Am I misremembering? I thought you made Tempe Late Night. I'm You're misremembering. I'm yeah. misremembering. I was in the founder group because I was there at the start. You were, you were in the Constitutional Party, yes. the Federalist Papers. Uh, but this was so it was started by a guy who was just unfunny. Yeah, I would I would say that Forbes is <laughs> it's a comedy group. Yeah, I would say For <laughs> Forbes is passionate, right. but I would argue yeah he was not probably funny enough to make it into a traditional. And group. that's and that's who you you aligned with. Yes, and then we we it was made cool enough by, by the time that we were seniors the next year that Cam who would have easily made it into the others I don't know if you ever auditioned for him. I don't even know if I thought I just auditioned for all of them. Uh, he he we he went to Tempe late night. 
basically though, I had a, I was doing stand up in high school, and I had a clip that went viral, um, on like Reddit. Someone posted on Reddit. Uh, it got like not even like that many views, but it got like fifty thousand views on YouTube. And then someone in ASU comedy saw it, and basically just said like, "Dude, you should do ASU comedy." You and got I scouted. Was, like, basically, just it's ASU interesting comedy how shit. familiar you are with being like getting a lot of views on stuff. It seems like it's been something that's happening a lot. That's what people your life. Have, that's what people have been saying. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> I think that's cool. If I was making... Are you like, born in 99? 98. Oh, okay. It's, so you oh, joined yeah. the, the Outcast Island that of was Rejects cool. and well, Losers. What was your impression that I, it was an Outcast Reject group? I didn't even know that. Until, oh. I didn't know that's that good until marketing. Uh, Jay, Lil QWERTY. Yeah. Uh, he's my roommate. Oh, still? You're like right now. now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's hey, tight. Is, yeah. is that his name? One of my like, best friends. Oh, that's his uh, music name. That's so hard. He's a very good rapper. Like, one of the best rappers I know. If we got you a feature on a Baby No Money track, would you be down? Um, yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, we'll talk to him. We'll talk to him. We know one rapper. <laughs> we know one guy. <laughs> we had him on our podcast once, but yeah, he'll do it. I, <laughs> yeah, I think we're close. <laughs> dude, we're, he, uh, we're close to closing. Dude, he, um, he texted me like two days ago, and it was just a like, check up on you, how are you text. Like, hey man, like, check in, how's everything going? And I'm like... I'm like no one's checked on me in so long. Yeah, you're actual replied, friends. Don't I replied do that. and I was like, "Oh man, everything's going blah 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 blah." I sent him a whole like like not like a huge thing, but just like a little thing about what's going on. He just didn't reply. <laughs> He'll get there in a month. He just didn't reply. He'll That's probably tight. think of you in a month and be like, "Let me check in on him." See uh, your reply. Uh, and be I like, had a real friend dope. for like one moment. I was I, I messaged him because I was like, "Bro, I just listened to Edamame. That <laughs> song's good." <laughs> It's funny that you met him before you listened to any of his most popular. That's what he does with every guest, which is good because they know I'm fucking real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. is. It is because nobody would do that if they were if they were trying to use them. You know? That's yeah. right. Yeah. You get what you pay for, Cam. You when you see me, you get it all. I will say also uh, the same same thing. I did. I didn't even know you had a podcast. Yeah, my goat. That's fair. That's how it should be. I was. No I, one should know about anyone ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What? What, what does that mean? They, what? Do, don't you get it? Oh wait, that's not the done thumbs no, up. No, that's no, just no. like agree. Oh, zipper just agree. Yeah, that's, that's just zipper yeah. agree. That usually means we're done recording. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. This yeah, is the fastest like, ninety minutes. What, of all I, time. what I'm saying, Ludwig. <laughs> Why are you saying it was thick? Is that is that if we all didn't know each other, we'd be way more chill with each other. What the? What fuck? are you talking about? What, you're actually. This is the dumbest thing you've ever said. <laughs> your <laughs> your success and in income depends on people knowing you. It was like when Aiden's girlfriend met John C. Riley and didn't know who he was. That this did happen. happen. That was that did based. What? She didn't. Well, to be fair, he did look. Weird. He was wearing like a weird like 1920s tuxedo outfit. He always yeah. looks like he'd, that. He had a weird outfit. He had like a crazy mustache that he'd he doesn't have just in any of the movies. Sherlock and Holmes. He what? <laughs> no <laughs> way. He said that. What? He probably just filmed Sherlock and Holmes. Sherlock and Holmes. Yeah, yeah. He filmed Sher Sherlock and, and Holmes and Watson. And there's three of them. Sherlock Holmes well, we and were, Knuckles. We were at this. Uh, we were at this breakfast place and. Uh, she was in line standing next to him and they just had a whole conversation about the baked goods there. And then she came back to the table and then 30 minutes later, like she's like, wait, is that guy famous? And then it like clicked. Yeah. And we figured and, out it was and John but C. Riley. The thing is, if I'm in that line, I see John C. Riley. I'm like, holy shit, that's Steve Brule. I really like this guy. I start shitting my pants. I get what you're saying. It's poop, weird. Like, poop everywhere. And if, but if I didn't know him and then we become best friends forever and ride fucking tandem bikes that's better so yeah. it's better if we don't know anybody ever and then we become uh, their well, friends you, know, you only it's only better uh, because it's better to learn about someone later <laughs> than to have never loved at all is that your uh, mountaintop of friendship is riding tandem bikes i feel like if i ride a tandem bike with you we're pretty good friends yeah i've never done that with anyone yeah but i have no real Dude, it also just seems too friend. difficult to ride one? And then I would just get mad at my friend. Okay. Can, can the person in the back steer? They can't. They just hold on to a bar. I've ridden a tandem bike. <laughs> with, honestly, with my dad. How do you? How have you ridden a tandem bike and you can't swim? You can't swim? I can't swim. No, he doesn't know how to swim. I grew up in Colorado. We should I mean this in the, <laughs> in the nicest, just... like, I don't want to be, like, rude at all. I've never met someone who is bald and can't swim. Because <laughs> you're more aerodynamic. Yeah, yeah. I think you could be both. Because you, you don't even need a swim you, cap. Yeah, you don't need the cap. Who I mean, wears a swim cap? Swimmers. 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 Yeah, people people swim the best regularly. Almost everyone who swims fast. Yeah. I'm going to learn to swim, and I'm going to swim and, and fucking kill you guys. I don't... <laughs> why would... In the pool? Like Delta the water. Force. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to arrive on your you shores. You <laughs> force? Like Delta Force. You know, oh. I, was, I was thinking about how Slime can't swim a couple days ago, and because uh, he tweeted about it. 
And I was thinking, like, I don't know if I can teach someone to swim. I don't know if I know how to do yeah, that. Yeah, you're bad at that. that no, probably not that. a thing about me. It's yeah. just that. You probably couldn't do that. I don't, I don't play remember, Tetris or Street Fighter. I don't. I just do it. I don't know if I know how to tell, like, get in the water and start swimming. You, what you do is that's what you do. So it's what, you ever seen them throw babies in, in well, pools? Yeah, my mom did that when I was five and I fucking freaked out. And oh, I was like, never again. That's why you don't swim. Yeah. Dude, would, that's why I don't go in the ocean. Because what? I went to Mexico when I was a kid, I got hit by a really big wave, and then I choked on the water, I got scared of the ocean. Dude, the Dutch angle. Big waves. Yeah. It's dope. It's like my favorite part, <laughs> but now it's my least favorite part. So you, well, imagine if that movie. was like in a movie. Give me, <laughs> you, give me one movie where that good. happens. Uh, Interstellar. I, that's, yeah. Fuck. There's a huge wave. I hate you. It's like the biggest wave in a movie, I that think, That movie actually. pissed me off because it's a big wave coming, and they just stand there. There's yeah, also another like, part. Girl, you're gonna die, and they're just like walking. Well, back. they're thinking about how cool this would be if it was in a movie. They were, yeah. I mean, that might happen to me. Actually, <laughs> they're, yeah. they're in it. They don't know they're in one. There's one. It's, I think it's called Poseidon. Awful movie. Uh-huh. But they're on. Like they're in like a cruise. Oh, Pacific Rim. Uh, yeah. why either so either cool? Armageddon or Deep Impact. Johnny Kapahala. Uh, Armageddon, there's a piece of the asteroid that flies off and lands in the water, and then tsunamis in California, and they have to ride a motorcycle to outrun it. The big wave movie. 2012. Whoa. 2012. I made yeah. that one up. There are so many movies I'm with so big waves. <laughs> I'm so upset. All very cool. What All a stupid cool. fucking gambit you just <laughs> ran. <laughs> You're asking four film guys that went to ASU, Manzanilla, <laughs> watching Nelk. All right, tell me about Breslin. <laughs> Who's Breslin? Well, he's no, too no, young. No. He, didn't know, he, didn't know, he didn't know him as Breslin. It's because Breslin. Well, Bre- have you, have you ever seen the tombstone in the middle of the quad? Yeah. Have you ever like, read it? <laughs> have, you ever, so have you ever like read it closely? And it's got like the eternal flame. Yeah, that's like perfect. JFK. Yeah, one of our friends who passed yeah. went to ASU. The Legends. eternal flame is just a joint. Two drinks at the same time. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a giant statue, and he looks like a colonial uh, American, but he's Edward Forty Hand. He's yeah. their friend that he's their friend that went to ASU who died in nine eleven. You knew, he di- <laughs> you, you he knew died in nine eleven. He died in nine eleven. Like, actually, yeah, he was one of the, well, he, he, he was, was one watching of the, on TV. He died he was in one shock. of the people on the plane. <laughs> he loved no, America. He hijacked so it. it. That's that is what they say. He was one of the forty seven. What's important to know here is that he wasn't friends with Ludwig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy I wasn't friends with a terrorist. What? Well, oh, it a terrorist? Well, it's, he, it's never that simple. That's the problem. Really? You always think it's so you simple. I think it's the hijacking. I, yeah, I'm just saying that it's like there's two sides to every story. <laughs> there's two sides. Uh, it's because he loves chugging side? Bud Light. It doesn't make Breslin a terrorist. Yeah. That's you ever what think I about think. maybe they were just having like a hard morning? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I didn't. I guess you know, I didn't think about the hard morning. They, did, they ran out of Biscoff cookies and they said it's fucking it's it's tonight. <laughs> And they just happened to do weeks of training beforehand in Florida. They just already knew yeah. how to fly uh, so And convenient. in Arizona. Yeah. Well, you know this. Yeah. Don't, I know. Don't say it. Anyway, <laughs> <dude, dude, dude, laughs> <bro>, my friend <laughs> died in the <laughs> thing. <laughs> don't don't hoo hoo it. I was trained in Arizona. I was in Arizona. Like Arizona, number one. Yeah, but it's not like a <laughs> number one. Like number one innovation is that you go hoo hoo. Yeah. But like they trained in Arizona to fly the plane. I mean, it had never happened. They fork them into Technically, <laughs> I, I don't know another similar attack. That's technically look, amazing. Look, I would if if they trained in the mountains of Colorado as pilots, I probably would bring that up as like, hey, like on a first date. That's uh, yeah, on a first date. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I actually went to high school with the guys who crashed into the towers. <laughs> I think the dude who hijacked that Alaska Airlines plane solo and then barrel rolled it is kind of tight. That is base. He also that didn't was... kill anyone besides himself. Yeah, yeah. it was a victimless crime, and he did uh, economic damage to the airline, which is funny. That, so that well, he broke the it, plane. When victim. it happened, I was at my uncle's house in Chicago, and my uncle is a pilot who flies like internationally. Yeah, oh. and he was like. Freak! He thought it was just awful. You talking and about nine eleven or the Alaskan airline guy? The Alaskan airline. Okay, okay. He was he three also though he 9/11. was flying that morning, and he was two planes in front of the one that crashed <clears throat> first. No shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, he Aiden's was like dad's there. a pilot, so you guys can mm-hmm. share. Oh really? Oh mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Did you ever get free rides? With the, mm, I don't the, think so. The pilot, Jer? No, my dad just. <laughs> but I don't know how it works. <laughs> it's the thing. <laughs> sometimes my dad dome. would get like standby. Yeah. I feel like you can get more. Who's? <laughs> no, that's. I mean, I don't know. Standby what... tickets is what you get. You get like the the okay, buddy yeah. passes. You don't get them when you're old, right? Huh? Don't it you... depends. Can, can you, you get on an Airbus with standby? 
and get into one of those fucking beds and get all tucked That's only in. in Fortnite. It's not a real thing. Airbus is just a company. They have shitty airplanes. It's not like, that's like, like, like the can dog? they get on? Can they get on a Boeing <laughs> with those passes? No. I, what I'm saying is, can you get on like the fucking UAE like bed so, plane? You can get on it in economy. An Airbud airplane movie would be high the actually. There's no rules. That's in, my big boy. There's no rules in the FAA that says a dog can't fly a plane into the Twin Towers. And it's just oh. <laughs> that would be a crazy. Oh, you know, I, this is a bit that I also had a lot in Tempe late night that uh, I told, and I came up with it when Ludwig was there. Also, his whole bit I just am remembering now that I'm like interacting with him is he would just be he was like the news guy or whatever, and then someone would do basically this like just talk, and then he would just get like pissed. Oh and yeah, do that. It, he lo- he loves being the the straight man. It's very easy. He loves yeah. It's Lovely. not easy. No, it's sorry, straight man. Lo- straight Lovely. man on the show. Got to be one alcohol straight man. to underage <laughs> students. <laughs> on the side. That's what he loved was giving underage people alcohol and being straight. Did I charge you? Uh, <laughs> if you charge him, it's based. It was a thing In where favors. I think I was like, I'll give you money, and you were like, Ah, don't worry about it. Okay, it was like that. No charge. Okay. Oh, yeah. rich mentality. Just, just oh, yeah. drink, just drink most of it, and then let me record a video of me interviewing you. <laughs> <laughs> that exactly. Yeah. So, do you think that like when women cheat, it's fucked up, but when men cheat, it's like it's it's, it's them probably, showing their alphas. They should be allowed to reason. <laughs> they should be allowed, they should be allowed to, to because it's it's uh, human nature for men. <laughs> That's what I think. That's what I think. Yeah. Hey, we're on Venice Beach today. <laughs> yeah. Gay son or Todd daughter? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ludwig Anders. <laughs> Dude, if Ludwig thought up gay son or thought daughter back in 2016, he would be as big as Mr. Beast right now. What's up? It's Jers. I'm back outside. Manzanita <laughs> asking women if they're on their period. <laughs> No, let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, can sp- I can smell it. <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but no, I did. I had this bit when I was at ASU Comedy that I would try to do on stage as much as possible and no one ever laughed. And I can't tell if it's, fu- I still think it's funny, but it was. You can test it on me. It was, it's not really like a bit. It's more like if I was like in a, like if I was like pitching a TV show, mm-hmm. it's basically like The Office. Like, you know, The Office? Yeah. So it's like the, yeah, it's like the office, but then it zooms out, and you realize they're in the World Trade Center on <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! There's a movie that and that's the season then, finale. Well, no, I mean that says the date, and then it cuts, yeah. and then it's the last episode. And usually people are like, "That's not funny," or "No," or, and then I'll be like, "Okay, well then I get that, but then here's another one." So it's like, I guess this one's a little different. It's not like exactly the same. But <laughs> he, it's, he likes that one. It's like parks, you know, parks and recreation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. that. But they're Wait, in the that. World Trade Center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, That's good. I that like one, that. Yeah. This is a good bit. The audience you tested it on was just too close to the event. I, I, I did it. Because they trained in Arizona. <laughs> didn't laugh. Zero laugh. That's crazy. And I was expecting, usually it's no laughs on the office one. And then I say the Parks and Recs one and people were like, oh yeah, it's kind of funny. No laugh. Wow. It was all everyone's. Pa- it was the one where everyone's parents went. The, there's yeah. a. Yeah, everyone's that was the pa- biggest show. That's where all the stipends went that the American government. We had paid. some big. That was like a hundred twenty person show. Nine eleven. No, that was like <laughs> three thousand. That was more people. Two thousand nine hundred. Uh, no, it was like a lot more. This was a. This was a. It, they did this in some movie that had nothing to do with nine eleven, but they it, they zoomed out at the end and it was like. Oh, the Robert Pattinson one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what it's called. It's, he's like he's like someone's like son or something he's supposed to be like he's like breaks up with his girlfriend or whatever it's some romance movie and then he's at the very end he's just staring out the window like sad that he lost his girlfriend and it zooms out and he's just in the world Trade yeah Center on and it has Olympics. nothing to do with and the he movie. dies in a plane in it, a plane crash. and it's so it's just like a people it's just didn't supposed like to it. be like a vignette of someone's life and like show the humanity behind Wait, everyone who like died <laughs> what's the movie it'd called? be pretty tight if I the whole movie called. you kind of like Oh, this is it. It'd be tight if, like, the whole movie, you were kind of trained to, like, really not like his character. And this is where you find out. And when the movie's about to end, you're like, oh, thank God, they're gonna, get hit, they're gonna hit him with a plane. So nothing <laughs> That's before so this exact scene, no, and zero, this is, this zero is a context. chalkboard that, in, that says September 11th, 2001. Zero context. It has nothing to do with anything having to do with, like, terrorism or... Like nine eleven politics all. or it's like Al Qaeda or the Russians That's in the 1980. Hottest anyone's ever looked right before being hit by an airplane. <laughs> Like it's purely it's out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and it's such an interesting like it's just such a the pullout is too slow. Cause like I'm not still wondering where am I. Yeah. Yeah. I figured that I, out I think a while you get ago. to simmer. What's I think it, what's I'm the imagining movie like the inner cell, like wow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh the movie's called 9-11. Yeah. 
<laughs> what is the movie called, Zipper? This is the other thing about 9-11. All of them remember, oh, me. Remember, me. remember me. Don't start a sentence saying, this is the other thing well, about 9-11. but this 9/11. is the other thing about 9-11. Like, you're, like you're pissed well, off like about it. <laughs> Every no, this is when we watched like, Tucker. He's always started in on this shit. That yeah. Robert Pattinson is in a movie that loosely includes it, and then this other thing. Oh, <laughs> Every, like, 9-11 movie is, like, like incredibly poor, like, the actors in it. It's like Charlie Sheen was in one where he was the star of like they were stuck in the tower. Really? And, yeah. I don't and then this. there's another one where it's like Nicolas Cage is stuck in the tower. Yeah, that one, it's he's, like, he's like a first responder, right? Yeah, but it's like who's casting for the 9 11 movie? Why have you seen so many 9 11 movies? <laughs> because I'm. His uncle was close. Yeah. Because it's, oh. it's his no. second favorite genre. Two after yeah, big wave, 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 wave movies. movies. Here's my thing with 9 11 movies. This is no profile. waves. Right? <laughs> if a wave out. hit the building, that would have been actually pretty cool. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They could all surf out of the building. There's a big alarm going off in, in, the, in the World Trade Center, and there's a bunch of surfboards they on the wall. They break a walls. big glass wall with surfboards yeah. behind it. It's, it's like Titanic. In case of wave. Yeah. yeah. It's women and children surf first. I know we're like recording and stuff, but write that down. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> write that down. <laughs> write that down. I am going to write a screenplay. <laughs> what if we surfed away from 9 11? <laughs> Are you still doing stand up? Uh, no. What? I stopped. I kind of stopped doing it when I was doing like music. Your full music. Yeah. Uh, I'm still doing music. Everyone keeps telling me I should do stand up. Everyone also keeps telling me now uh, that I should like stream. And I have no idea how to do that. Hmm. Well, look at his brain working. I love when he I love when he goes into analyst mode. Yeah. Am I feel I like I should ask yeah. you are like a successful streamer. You literally did a face that is like your your hardcore you seem not into it. compression. What do you uh, li- what do you like the most? What do I like the most? Of those things. Oh, I thought you were just men. I was gonna say like hanging out, hanging out, yeah. wave movies. Yeah, besides uh, being a dope ass viber and also chilling, what yeah. do you like? Uh, I'm always things? still gonna do music. I love music. Mm. Um, I it's stand up seems kind of like a dying medium oh. to an extent. Like good if, on if you don't live in New York, probably it is. Like just generally, like it's still like Big very cities. much alive, like on like TikTok and stuff like that. But also like. Other things on TikTok. It is weird how like all stand up has kind of been reduced to crowd work. It's TikTok you know? crowd work, yeah. 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 And, and, I, and I'm it, not going to do that. Because like, who's going to a fucking stand up show? Going to a stand up show is like, let's be crazy today. <laughs> <laughs> let's like, let's see who's like on this week and go. Like, no one's casually going to stand up. Even us in a, in a, in a podcast pretty adjacent to the stand up world, when's the last time anyone here's going to a stand up show? Wait, so you're not going? We I went like a month ago. You're not going tonight? What's tonight? Milk Boys. <laughs> <laughs> the performing? Yeah. Full sending on I, I would live go, at the Wiltern. I would go to Nelk Live. <laughs> but Tucker's opening for this. Tucker's <laughs> opening because he's pissed. He's pissed about the Fox News thing. He's, he's playing opening, a rock ballad. Yeah, he's opening for Nelk. <laughs> it's him, an acoustic guitar, and the fucking liberal agenda. And every taken fucking down. Leonard Skinner song you love. <laughs> he has a fire tweet from 2011 that, that's r- r- popular again. Oh, yeah. because oh, what happened? Yeah. Well, it's something like like uh, the bitches are coming yeah, for me or something bi- like that. These bitches, bitches set me. me up. Yeah, these bitches set me these up. These bitches coming for me too. Yeah, <laughs> amen. Ben said. Yeah. Ben hadn't known it. Uh, yeah, no, none of us go to stand-up shows. The last uh, one. Are you saying like people like go. people go to open like mics? Shows? Are you saying like famous comedian comedy show? You mean like a stand-up like either? As I understand the meta is open mics are p- usually attended by stand-up comedians that are working on their material. So you're basically just doing your material for other stand-ups. Full circle jerk. Going to other shows that have like like set lists or lists of people that are featured, those are popular. People go to those. We just aren't in that demographic. We also live in LA, which is a weird environment for that. Because it's like it's like fracture. Everyone Everyone in LA is like an actor who does stand up because they yeah. think it'll like make them a better actor. What I've understood is that like stand up in LA is just so much worse. Than yeah, it's there's awful. like this cringe yeah. idea, but like you know, like Chicago or New York or like bigger cities, it's more of like people who care about that medium itself. Well, it's yeah, a stop show. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was the that last, was the last show I went to. Uh, I I I used to do comedy. Yeah, like in college. <laughs> yeah, in oh, college. Laughing. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, and when I went to LA, I thought I would continue doing comedy. And then didn't. Talking about stand up comedy? Yeah. Yeah. Or improv. If I someone, thought I'd join a or some if shit. If someone offered you your original dream now, would you take it? Of a late night show host? Yeah. Or like what? Like uh, which one? What Am I mean, covering what? James Corden's hour? Fuck that. That's a good point. No, it's exactly what you wanted. Well, no, like which one? Am I getting offered? You me? get Jimmy. It's your you dream. Get I get hour. Jimmy? You get Jimmy's I get hour. Fallon hour? Yeah, yeah you're Fallon you hour. You NBC? You, you stop what you're doing and you go Fallon. I don't think I'd want to go NBC. Why not? 
I just think they're they become corporate. Like you know what's crazy <laughs> is that that Jimmy Fallon clip where he's like, "Oh, I fumbled the bag with Nicole Kidman." It's crazy that she wanted to fuck him. Why? Yeah, because he's that. like a ghoul of a shill man. Isn't it crazy that we all saw a clip about Nicole Kidman wanting to fuck Jimmy Fallon, and we can all agree that Jimmy Fallon's not funny and he's not worth watching? Yeah, that's crazy. Isn't that like a universal dislike of a man that's no. so beautiful? Uh, people, it's like it's it's like in waves, like a big. Like, big waves. <laughs> but no, yeah. like, people will I not. Get, yeah. yeah. People will it like, is him, like waves. And then they'll get, like, some clip where he, like, looks good, and then they'll be like, he's actually, like, a I funny had, guy. Like, he seems like a good guy. I had zero opinion on him until the Paris Hilton clip. Yeah. Oh, oh what's that? that? Oh, Throw it in the trash. That's what's the Paris Hilton clip? Did you actually even say this? She brought her NFT out. Yeah, and yeah. And he, yeah, okay. The AP. She was, like, chilling NFT. And he goes, you can, like, he goes, I also have a board ape. He was bored you, can, you can tell that he was just paid like an exorbitant amount of money to say everything he's saying because he's like not even tried. That's what I'm saying. He's like a, so he's, a, he's like a shambling skeleton ghoul of like shill. Dude, my favorite my favorite line of that whole clip is uh is he's holding up his ape and he's like he points to the the heart shaped sunglasses. He's like I like these because like I, I I actually have done this. I was gonna say, <laughs> like, he, like, it's wearing like a sailor hat and like a red striped shirt, and he was like, "This one has like similar features." Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. He's like, he's like, my kids actually know I've worn these. Look so, at his face. So like, I've actually done this. <laughs> like wearing those is like going to like the Grand Canyon or something. <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. Anyway, yeah, so it's I crazy take to me that I would take I would take Conan's gig. Yeah, okay. Wait, you, would, you would stop what you were doing to be Conan. Yeah. Not be Conan, but to be you in Conan. Yeah. Well, because he's, he's, he's sunsetting right now. Ludwig has always well, I'm not started sunsetting. his... You're sunsetting. Are you sunsetting? He's, sunsetting. He started his career knowing oh. it will one day you end. I'm not sunsetting. You're sunsetting. I'm not sunsetting. Mogul Mail, though, on the rise. Your mobile mail rose? in the yard is his retirement plan. He has big fears about felling I'm off. I'm not... I have mm. no fears. Do you think he fell off? He's already started to fell off. I didn't even know I had a podcast. You have the option to go to the Ludwig show or the Big Wave show. You have one ticket. Uh, dude, dude, come on, oh, the, bro. That's, <laughs> it, that's, it, that's it. That's it. We're just full of big waves yeah. right oh, now. This, that's uh, fan, the guy from Fantastic Four. He's about to watch someone get. He's about to get smashed by the thing. I oh, see this is what a big wave will I, do. Yeah, you. I just wa I he watched dies? This. He dies. That's, got a, smashed that's by a metal thing. wave, which bro, is different. Big wave is so dope. <laughs> <laughs> I love big waves. Yeah, that's, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Big waves are sick. If you don't know, Factor fucks like no other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. They're back, bitches. This spring, it's Factor Fuck Fridays. It's Factor Fuck Fridays on Thursday. And this spring, you need nutritious, convenient meals to energize for your warmer days. She doesn't really care what day of the week it is. <laughs> Factor will spin like a top. On the Factor Fuck Fridays, they got Factor Fresh meals, and they're never frozen. Factor Never Frozen is their other slogan, and ready in two minutes. With Factor, Factor Frozen. I'm with my bros and... My hose and <laughs> it's time to close this ad read and tell you that you can get keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, protein plus meals on the menu each week. Yo, they have 34 meal choices, and you don't even have 34 friends. You don't know 34 people. I do. Factor will let you do whatever you they want. They have to more it. meals than points Rui Hachimura did in the Lakers game. It's a prepared by chefs. Rui. I'm talking about them. Approved by dietitians. Deep and throat eaten. shit. <laughs> eaten by little handsome little guys like you. You don't, so, even, have to, you don't even have to chew it. You can just throw right it down. down. You don't have to chew it. It's not in the rules. Hop <laughs> on right now for Factor Fuck Fridays by going to factormeals.com slash yard50. The yard50. That's factormeals.com slash the yard50 for 50% 50 off. If hungry little off. guys like me can get filled up to the brim because you can just little, you just you can just kind of dump it you don't swallow it you you're just huge i get you can, factor will do it anytime you want you're inflation porn for aiden what F factor you're the after factor it just feeds me it's so big and inflate so for me and hey, so much factor if you look up if, if you looked up factor inflate 34 Dude, on <laughs> i'm doing the i'm doing the outro so uh, it's like a man, number one meal kit factor <laughs> will make me so big for you there's <laughs> Factor, America's number one inflation site. Go yeah. buy food yeah. there too. I'm f I will arrive in your boxes of factor meals so huge. In pieces. Mealed. And, and Cut my life into pieces. pieces. This is my last resort. I would, okay. they're not gonna, they wouldn't, do it. They wouldn't okay. be my last resort. I'd pick them over a lot of other things. All right, things. back to the episode now. It's not an ad read anymore. Uh, do you think you'd be a good streamer? I don't know. I, this is the thing where it's, I feel like probably not because I don't watch streams. 
Yeah. Except, and I, except I that think might make you a better streamer. I think it'd make you a worse streamer. I think it would make you, know, you worse. I think you need to absorb. I don't know the, 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 so that's where I was going. That's where I was going. I went, to, I went to LA. I was hoping to do comedy. I ended up doing streaming shit because I didn't have time to do comedy and like also do laundry and go to my job and eat food correctly. Mm-hmm. So I just streaming was easier to do from home. And I found out about it from like him. Well, like I knew about it from Smash tournaments. You know, I inspired you, you know him. I was in a Smash in college, right? No. Oh, this is the other thing also with Ludwig in college. We would go to ASU comedy parties and he was always just playing Smash on the couch. And he would like beat people and smash. And I would it. fucking run them. You're just farming normies. I would farm normies and leave. That's fucked. I up. like that. That's and, base. And, and 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 I would chug a bit. You chug, of course. Well, just like when Nelk was there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. <laughs> when Nelk was on, it'd be like, all right, Ludwig, you fuck, ran the setup. Turn on Nelk. Let's Dude, get we crazy. Should, we should have all the Nelk boys on our show and then talk to them like we've known them forever <laughs> and never explain it to them, not even off camera. <laughs> <laughs> when these three boys from Toronto were at ASU with us, <laughs> yeah, and we all have to wear Happy Dead shirts. Uh, and so I did, I did streaming shit. But streaming to me is like it's such a different uh, ecosystem and skill set. Mm-hmm. And like most streamers, I think are much less funny than you. Oh, uh, I've said this for so long. It's God true. damn it! But it's also like oh, very, I'm so glad you validated me just now, pussy boy. Right? <laughs> like someone who's really funny is oftentimes a bad streamer. Like a good example is uh, Middle Ditch streams a lot. The, Thomas Middle Ditch? Yes. Really? He streams? Yeah, he He's does. He's canceled, right? Yeah, he got canceled. He, is he? He did some wet, yeah. nasty stuff. Either way, Abusive before boyfriend. and after the cancel. I hate him now. Bad streamer. I don't even know what he did. Bad streamer. Uh, and there's a bunch of other examples. Yeah, also fucking Dane who Cook, was, dog who was shit the person streamer. from Migos? Well, I mean, like, obviously. Have you seen Dane Cook stream? I didn't know he did that, but he I streams. don't like him for doing that. He, st- he streams silently playing Warzone and then just fragging out because he's actually really good the, the two there's two people in this whole fucking world that are that can stream well and be funny you're fucking looking at him oh it's you twice you're oh him <laughs> okay. it's him twice it's him and me. it's him I, and the, the wolf being, inside I don't, I don't know i don't know it could be him twice it's me and ludwig i don't know where he's going oh, with yeah. this it's me and ludwig that's not true there are many funny streamers but i think but, but you were among them <laughs> yeah sure you and, and, and then cook yeah i think the issue is when you stream you got to stream like four to six hours right like around like consistently like you know yeah. four days a week at least so that like it's a lot of time and you can't just sit and talk for most of that time like you have you either have to be watching shit and reacting or playing a game and that's like a lot different than i think stand up in like having a few bits that you run yeah it's the it's the volume is crazy the volume like Yo. even funny people like germa who like plan out bits like he also then just plays video games for five hours straight. You go live with uh, in front of a green screen, and you've got like an enormous wave coming, right? It's behind you. That would you. be crazy. It's behind you, but you don't know. <laughs> and you don't know it's be- coming. And your chat's the whole time they're trying to warn you for like a month. That's how he ends like every coming, stream. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming so like, you sick. slow that down by like 4,000. <laughs> so and your whole chat's like, bro, there's a wave coming. And you're just like, what are you guys talking about? He never announces the end of stream. It's just a wave that comes over. It and then it's in the background. And then the a time. year, a year into the stream, you turn around. You're like, what? What's behind me? Whoa. And you see a <gasps> big ass wave. A year long wave. And then the stream cuts. And, and then, then you, you're and never then you seen from again ever. And then it says Jaws 4. And then Jaws is there? And then it says Jaws 4. <laughs> and Jaws 4, directed by Cam, and then parentheses, young nut, and then in parentheses, Elf, not baby nut. Elfin. Yes. And not then parentheses, nut. normal nut. Normal nut. Normal adult nut. Elfin, yeah. and there's a shark fin over it. Whoa. Right? So. And it's like the fi- it's like swimming. I changed my mind. This shit's easy. Streaming? Yeah. yeah. I think the, we uh, just figured it out. <laughs> I think the, well, I did just get laid off. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, look, if you have time and you want to try streaming, that's the correct answer. Yeah, so try no it, and if you like not. it, to keep doing it. But I think the what you should have is when you're doing things that go viral, there's a Jubilee video, and a reaction to a Jubilee vi- video that get like 2 point some million views. You need some place for people to go to get more nut. And if there's no mm. place to go it, that you can't capitalize any income off of, then that's like a bit of a They want to be full of nut because of you. Yeah. But, but they'll only hang around for a little bit to yeah, get that, it. Yeah. Because yeah. they can get yeah. it somewhere else. No, yeah. yeah. Obviously. There's a lot of nut out and there. So you right after a Jubilee easy. video comes out, like they, they need to know that you did it and where to find you. And how to fill themselves. You probably should like capitalize off it as best you can, which might be like hopefully commenting on the video and getting pinned by Jubilee into some YouTube channel conversions. Where they got Juvie from? Yeah, Jubilee and Juvie both give Mm -hmm. you kidney stones. Uh, Jubilee, are you? Have you noticed a change kidney stones from being on Jubilee? I hope not. (laughs) That would suck. It's like about about the copay for going to the doctor. (laughs) Is your pay for that show? (laughs) It's like a. (laughs) It's all about some conversion. He yeah. fu- he fucked me by the way. He he what? talks about this, Wait, but 
He'll fuck you. He'll fuck you in ways you'll never I know. I want that. I, I, so good I, I, I went, I went on his, good. he went camping and I came and showed up in a cowboy outfit oh and, my I, God. and I became his cowboy for him. Yeah. And it turns out I was electric. We had a great time. He was electric that day. And, uh, and I, God, I'm so sad I missed it. So I messaged, I messaged Ludwig and I was like, hey, can I cut up like us being cowboys as a, 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 from the stream as a video and put on my channel? He's like, yeah, of course. I, I fucking spend like probably like four hours editing. Wow. Ludwin clips. Mostly because you don't know how the tools work. It was just took a while. I had to watch <laughs> the whole thing and then and then like cut it and like edit it. And then like Ludwin clips, his clip guy, unprecedented, makes a 22 minute video of uh, my antics because I'm so electric <laughs> and just posts it. Well, and I was like, I have beef with the clips guy too. Ooh, What's your beef? Your minion is out of line. Uh, Cause we spent, we spent the most we've ever spent on an ad ever shooting the KFC commercial. And then, uh, you know, I did my due diligence. I prepped master files and everything I'm supposed to do. And then he just ripped it from the streamer awards oh. stream with the audience applause still overlaid on the actual ad. Oh. And then just put it on the clips channel in 1080p. Oh. Okay. Got a few hundred thousand views. So it could have had like the full quality and the and sound. 1080p is good though. So it's, it's, like, high, it's full it's HD. 1080, it's <laughs> HD. So it's like, I had the file and then I, and then I messaged Ludwig and I'm like, hey, like next time we do this, I'd love to like send you the file that we use. And he's like, I don't even know who the clip guy is, but he posted it. That's crazy. I do know, I know, I know the, the clip, clip guy. guy. I know the, Ian. Ian? Yeah, he's from Brazil. He said some guy from Brazil. We should go. That's His name's Ian. We should hang out with His Ian. His name's Ian. He's very sweet. I asked to do a call with him, and he said, I don't speak English. And I said, that's okay. You smell, Aww. but you speak Portuguese. Portuguese. Yeah, it's Portuguese. That's what I told him. And he said, I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, and so all he does is he, uh, I say, upload whatever you want. I don't want to know about it. Just really? You, just rip it. You and just he, close your little eyes, and you're like, do whatever. I told him when I hired him, I said, you just do it. You do not need approval from me. Wow. Just upload it, because I don't tight. want to deal with oversight. That's a dream. And he just gets a cut of the uploads. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's great. It's it was a great just, situation. It was just so funny. You could still upload it. It would do great. You think so? Yeah, I think it'd be fine. I think you'd probably do a better job because you were in it. I, I watched his, though, and I'm like, he left this in. Is that bad? Like it, if like, you did I another cut, cut I think it'd be fine. It's really interesting to see this side by side. But I just thought it was, I was so flattered. I was like, I'm just so electric. You were electric. <laughs> I know you were electric this? because this is supposed to be, this a, this is supposed what, to be advice is, for our friend here, and it's just been about how you're electric. He's electric. Well, but that's good. It's good to know. Is like he was on that day. Yeah. <laughs> so if you were on like he is all the time, yeah. that's what that, he wants you to you. know. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying is that usually the, it's a 22 minute video, unprecedented to be posted on the clip show. <laughs> And he just did it because it was so lucky. Yeah, and this is good advice for him because... And it, but, but what I'm saying is, what, on what's going to happen? Because now you know YouTube allows 20-minute uploads. Lud yeah. <laughs> Ludwig's minion is going to take the best young nut moments from this podcast, which you've had a lot, and he's going to put them into a 20-minute video, and guess what? He's going to slurp up all the money for you. He's going to slurp it up like well, a money I, vacuum. I, I paid him good. You got a Cortado? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, Ludwig, <laughs> earlier he came with a coffee and he's like, does anyone want a Cortado? They made me buy a, another coffee. And, and Cam's like, yeah, I'll take that. And he, sips it. And he was like, ah, I hate this. It's equal parts milk and coffee. It's a thing. That's the drink of someone who is so stressed out. Like at all the It's time. what Italians drink When you left the room He's like Is he stressed out? <laughs> really? Yeah You said that? It's. I mean I was wondering I, It's the coffee stressed? of someone yeah. Who's like Get me my fucking paper right now. I, I need know, a coffee He's like stressed that. because he's sunsetting like And it's, it's I'm, sun 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 I'm yeah. not sunsetting Sunsets are beautiful They are yeah. You watch but them most days I'm not sunsetting that You know I think it is? I think he's uncomfortable Being around so many Old college friends yeah, yeah. Because we saw you back in your vulnerable he days. Because we always talk we about the past and the future. It's kind of a memories thing. Did you ever time. see me cry? Have I seen you? Oh my god! Wait, I totally just remembered the story that I was gonna say. That I was like, I don't know if I should say this, but it was about Tempe late night. Uh -huh. I haven't seen you cry, by the way. I don't think okay. I have. All right, cool. <laughs> um, but no, there was uh, right after you left, and it was because it was uh, someone from Bear in Mind who joined Tempe late night. People started joining Tempe late night because it was, it was hot. At, it ended up being like cooler. Than the other club. That's such a great success, by the way. It was, yeah. It went from Forbes being a huge failure, and Forbes is kind of a weird guy, to a massive success. And we had like a larger audience than sketch comedy because we did everything. It was a lot of it also is that our shows were like Monday nights, and all the other comedy clubs were every Friday night. And who's going on Friday night? Yeah, they overshot. Friday night's Nelk night. 
That's where that's where you go with your Amen. boys and watch Tucker clips. Suck and fuck fest. Every, <laughs> suck and every fuck dorm room lights Tucker. up with the with the no boys. You can sit in the hallway and hear <laughs> Tucker Carlson and just consume it from the hallway. But, um, it's, it's Tucker Strict Shot Tuesdays. We watch his yeah. best clips. It's T Shot Tuck Tuesdays. <laughs> All right, what happened? What happened? Yeah. Uh, so, but so then they had someone who's one of my friends, like one of my close friends, was running the social media for Tempe Late Night, and they got the password from like the last person who had had it. Uh, and like a while later they were telling me like I was just looking through all the DMs and stuff because like I have this new Twitter account or whatever and someone uh, DM'd the tw- uh, Ludwig on the Tempe Late Night Twitter account being like hey Ludwig um, I'm messaging you here because you blocked me everywhere else but I just want you to know like I still like think about you what? really? yeah hey just want to let you know like I still like love you, and I just want to know like if you want to like Yo. talk to him or something. Wow. I, did, I did not see it. That's so. actually me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a prank. We were. I'm sorry, I tell you that. It was like a prank that we thought would. We be had funny. just got off the highlight video for Nuck Boys, yeah. and we were like, thinking, we were fucking, we were twisted for <sighs> sure. Twisted. Uh, I was so crossfaded, and I was like, what if we fucked with him? <laughs> That because be he was true. gone already. Because you were really yeah. emotionally vulnerable uh, back then, and we like to take advantage of that. We yeah, like to it was you. fun for us to do that. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's the same way you like you when you would just hold your phone up to people coming out of the Planned Parenthood. <laughs> oh my god, that was his whole thing. I forgot about that. It was your whole fucking thing. You were like, if you kept it, would it be gay? Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> so we're just kind of like getting back at you. It's always thought daughter. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's so fucked. All right, damn. Uh, <laughs> we, had some, we had some good. Tell me late, night, tell me late night. I will say last year was tough because I had a I had a, a a shit girlfriend at the time who hated that I did it. Oh, like when you were in it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Because it was just it was somewhat time consuming. Because it was like a you know there's rehearsals, yeah. there was like writing meetings, and so it was like a few days a week. Um, probably like 10, 15 hours. And you're double majoring, journalist degree, English degree. Well, that was easy. Don't know shit about English. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't and know you don't even know the four Every pillars. night he's at the bars. Interviewing Every night girls. he's at the bars getting content, generating content. Mm-hmm. That's already like a music lot of time. It was a lot of time. Back when it was music. It was a lot of time. TikTok. Yeah. And you weren't spending any time with her. No. You also went to the gym. Was he Jack when you met him? I feel like you looked exactly the same. <laughs> I, I was, I was, I appreciate that. I'm way fatter now. Oh, you're fat. Show it to him. No. Oh, you look you're, great. You're, you're, you're uh, look, look up, look up a uh, Tempe late night. Wait, yeah. Uh, Ludwig sketch. Is your phone background Peter Griffin from Family I think Family it's called like, Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is though. You just oh, look- this is it. This is a picture of you with the ass. Wow, I look. Ca- oh, I remember those are my cake shorts. You see. Oh my god. That's not real, right? That looks like a BBL. That's yeah. a what? straight picture. BBL? No. no, you have stuff in your pocket. Is that why you know Ian? He has his wallet in his pocket. Was Ian your BBL guy? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Back out, back out, back out. Not the monologue. There's, this, there's a sketch called oh like, The god. Fighter. And in it, I'm shirtless and I look way skinnier. Am I in any of these? Uh, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask questions like that again. It's my fault. <laughs> and then skip oh like halfway god. through. Wow. Oh, oh my wow. god, you're yeah. so thin. I know. We I'm gotta ten, lose some weight. I'm 10 Ludwig. pounds lighter here. I'm look like, at how you look at your back muscle. Oh, he still does the whole bounce. Oh, you do do the bounce. I'm like 170, 175 here. I'm 185 now. Oh, that's 10 pounds? You're yeah. fine. Well, 10 pounds <laughs> looks different. That's crazy. Uh, Dude, anyway, that's crazy. That's it. Wow. That's it. Damn. I actually, sometimes I think about how Ludwig looks so different now, but then I just realized if he went back to his old hair color that he would look exactly the same. Mm, uh, the haircut and the color. Is it not the exact same hair color? Like his hair is much longer no, now. No, I got he's blonde. Oh, it's now. Bleached, bleached, yeah. Yeah. There was a guy from ASU Comedy who went on to go to SNL. Yeah. Oh, Michael. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so dope. Yeah. yeah. Michael Longfellow. Yeah. Michael Longfellow. He used to like perform at like the, the open mics at ASU. And he and just, he's like killing it. Isn't he, SNL cringe? Uh, he's like, no, he's like this. He's like uh, one of the like. It's simultaneously cringe. But like the goal landing point of many comedians, because it's kind of a launch pad to anything it else. It is you cringe, want to do. but like all the talent on it's good. Like I don't think I've ever had like I mean, there's some talent that sucks, but like everyone that's come out of SNL is fucking dope. Yeah. He's super funny too. It's and just like interesting that like SNL is I feel like remembered right now for millennials now and also Zoomers, especially. It's like they're the play they, <clears> they did the Elon Musk sketch 
and they did Le Donald Trump to p- yeah. and like all these fucking like cringe ass shit. Like yeah. the milk shit too. And then well, we didn't tie- <laughs> They did do a try guy sketch. Yeah, they did oh, a try yeah. guy sketch and like didn't understand cringe. the point. Yeah. And it's like it's funny because it's this it's this thing of like, okay, I wanna be a, I wanna have a career in comedy and then you work on SNL and then you but you tell a zoomer that and they'll just like spit in your face and then hold the phone up to you and ask you questions about your life so it's, it's like what's it's changing is it's all. like the palantir of comedy like a lot of talented people worked there it's still a it's still this massive platform like for for however many people dislike it you're on a channel that like whatever sketch they post still gets like a couple you million get offered views. snl and that's like the head writer right now you say no oh yeah because it's really funny to say no it's a funny job title it's, too. But wait, it's funnier to say yes and like be the guy. He probably he make makes no, less he makes money. too much money. He He'd probably make less money. That, doing and that. that is also you could definitely really do both. I could probably he do could both. He could do both. It's yeah. more funny because he's the goat. It's more funny to be like if he's on. I t- <laughs> he's like electric. If I'm electric, yeah. That sh- I I I rise SNL out from the. From yeah. the big wave, oh, it's wow. underneath. That was, mm-hmm. And there's like waves and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that right. It's like <laughs> it's like a trigger. It's, yeah, like, it's, it's, really it's, sad, yeah. Yeah. it's like it's like when you say outside you're a dog. Oh, I know this one. Are you just talking about? Like, just keep playing like, random big wave. They start clips. looking out the window and they're like, "What is going on?" How did just notice that? Is this 2012? <laughs> oh, I think it is. Dude, that, that's bro, so it's like, bad. Whoa, big wave. That wave is so big. Actually, they're not gonna run it. They're not gonna. You know the difference is? You know the difference is? I'm running towards the wave. Yeah. 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 Cause I'm about to fucking, I'm about to fucking tunnel, get yeah. pitted, and then, and, and, in the tube, and then ride that shit, bro. Just fucking ride it. Yeah. That'd be yeah. So sick. Uh, wipe my own ass. Okay. Here's yeah. my, here's my real advice. All right. I think you should do TikTok. Okay. Are you on TikTok? <laughs> I've, I've heard of it. Do you watch TikTok? No, I'm on it. Yo, you should I do, do, I do it for like a job. I do like people's TikTok. Yeah. Well, you should do yeah. your own TikTok. You should do a one, one year long series of you trying to learn to break dance. <laughs> I'm actually such a bad dancer that, that that's what I'm be... saying. It's like a whole year of progress. You don't it's, progress it's at just, all. That's I guess I could do that. It's just so much humiliating content. Yeah, it is a lot. That's it is good. a lot. But I you think learn. being humiliated is the is the true path to success. I don't think this is good advice. Yeah. I think what they're saying is bad advice. <laughs> you I mean, literally built a career idea. off of 300 people in your chat making fun of you. Yeah, not break dancing. <laughs> that's true. Well, you don't know dancing. how. That's what. That's why he didn't do it. You think you could do it? It take me six months. Six it months. Takes me two. Six months. I learned Japanese and I can break dance. <laughs> I, learned how, I learned how Japanese I break dance. I started a channel. Gave me six months. My senior year of college that you didn't know about, but it was it, it <laughs> my doing drunk girls in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> did not pop off. <laughs> no, it was my improvement channel, and it was junior junior summer going into senior year, and ev- I was trying to learn Japanese, get fit, and learn the piano. And I would document my progress. And so every day I would do something like I'd go on a run and then I'd take a picture of myself shirtless. I have like a hundred pictures of me looking like this <laughs> and then like learn some fucking katakana and then play piano for a bit with the goal of like having some progress. Somebody you attempted summer. to learn Japanese at a certain point in your life. Yeah. That's crazy. 2016. Yeah. Considering how little, you how, know, well, that's what I was thinking. I did this for about like two weeks. Okay. And okay, then okay. I uploaded a couple videos, like after coming, getting around to editing it. And uh, what I didn't realize is that my YouTube channel that I had made, because I, tr- I made a brand new one and I didn't want to tell anyone about it, was linked to my, to my Google Plus account. Mm. And so Where then, are we fucking clowning this motherfucker? And so then my mom finds it and then she watches it and then she hits me up. She's like, love the video. And then she like said like a comment that I was like, kind of weird how you were like shirtless for a lot of it, something like that. Some comment like that, and wow. I was so embarrassed that I deleted the channel. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I had a very similar thing. Your mom was on Google Plus? Yeah, big Google Plus user. What? Yeah, take that. You weren't friends with Ludwig's mom on Google Plus? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, she wasn't in my circle. Dude, yeah. everyone knew Ludwig's mom. Well, <laughs> don't go too far. Ludwig's mom had a fan page on Google <laughs> Plus. She was doing fan pages on Google she Plus? She ran her own, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was Paloma's <laughs> banana bread <laughs> fan she page. She also control the fan page, and you control the money. <laughs> Too uh, smart. Here's the advice: you Control go TikTok because it seems like what you're most passionate about is music, and the biggest uh, like push you can make from any platform to music is TikTok. That's what they're saying. That's what Baby No Money. That's did. what they, that's what do, baby say. No money. That's what they do say. In five minutes, and then it's you like this and pointing at your song. Crackball plays. Also, I Hell feel yeah. like you have the ability to be funny in a TikTok. 
because it's very short form and you can just come up with a funny bit and then you can execute it. I think it. you're funny if there's only seven seconds. If, you're, you're, if, if there's not a lot seven, of you. If there's not seconds, a lot of you. Uh, no, yeah, that's good advice. If it, but if it's like a two hour, two and a half hour like thing where you dress as a cowboy, like you probably don't have it. Is yeah. Ludwig not coming? There's four of us? Ludwig's not coming. It's just the four It's just like ASU. Do you, yeah. want, do you guys want me to come? I can come. It's just like ASU in which we, got, we didn't we say where we were cool. hanging out. I think because it wasn't really the reason. five of us hey, back we'll, we'll meet you at the Cosmo, right? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll be at the Cosmo, we'll just hang okay. out there. Go to the Breslin Memorial Service you guys are going to miss, so. Oh, the, no, that's the next week. See, you're always forgetting. Yeah. Right. It's, a, it's actually, oh, you know. I guess it'd be dude. on September 11th. You yeah. doesn't know when it is. That's what I'm saying. It'd be weird to remember her on September 11th. That's what Stalin did with Trotsky. He said, hey, the fucking funeral's that way, and then he didn't show no up. No one cares that you signed up for Nebula. <laughs> Nobody. It's funny, dude, though. Dude, it's you know not. what he told me this week? You know what he fucking told me this week? Is he sits down, he's like, he's been watching the videos. I'm at my desk in the office. He's laying down on the floor, and he just he rolls over, and he looks at me, and he's like, you know... You know, I'm all caught up on Yemen. <laughs> caught up on Yemen. <laughs> like it was like, the Sopranos. Like, like, it, like he just he just watched the last five seasons of the Yemen Civil War, and yeah. he's like, "Yeah, I'm caught yeah, up. I'm caught up." So you're moving on to what? Are you on? I'm not. Saudi well, I'm just Arabia? waiting for the next step. You know what it is now? Yeah. It was an uprising. Yeah. That that started a series a, of a, well, it started yeah. Series what of uprisings. What, what triggered it? Was it was in Tunisia. A street vendor set himself on fire I in protest <laughs> for getting his shit taken by the government. Yeah, that's the, also the word for it. I got something that's uprising. What are you uprising? trying for? Yeah, What's yeah, up, yeah. That's like your penis, bro. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. It, oh, on that list of Jubilee videos that you can apply for is one is like big wiener contest or something. There was, and I didn't apply. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one you're doing? Can you leak it? Uh, I don't know if they want me to say, but I think there's it's on their the star. side channel. Oh, oh, oh. Jubilee side pieces. Jubilee. It's called Nectar. Uh, is they, it actually? Yeah, they have like three hundred thousand. Well, that was the okay. uh, that was the watermark that was on the one we just watched. Yeah, it was the first one. Oh, skateboarding's nectar. Yeah, the dating ones are nectar. Oh, I see. Jubilee's uh, like all the middle ground stuff and then like the ranking. Right. Yeah. The, the it's all slop for the pigs. It is. Ah. I, the, what I know of Jubilee is it's like should should we should we kill immigrants and then they'll have like five gradients of like strongly agree, strongly disagree, and then they'll stand at the position they're at and they're like. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone will be like, I don't think we should. And then they'll move like down one to like slightly agree. And then someone in the comments is just like, let's do this. That was, that was a really wow, good crack. crack. That was, like, that good was crack. such a good crack. <laughs> oh That's God. like, holy shit, dude, you're crack. on today. You should edit this into a video. Uh, I'm going to edit this into a video if your fucking cocksucker, cocksucker Ian doesn't get to it first. He's a good guy. Is that his nickname? Cocksucker Ian. He's not. But in Portuguese. How do you say cocksucker in uh, Zipper? How do you say cocksucker in Portuguese? That should Whoa, be your goal. You wait, should just that, try to the, out edit him. He's coming to be CSI. Clip guy. Yeah. Cocksucker Ian. That's what it's called. CSI. CSI. Yeah. Shit. Whoa. Feed the puta. What? No, that's just. You got the puta. That's just the. Island of the Island of Pussy. Do you think there's any hope? Feed the puta. That's that's a bastardization translation. It shouldn't say that. That's just like a guy I don't like. What are you, general, what are you saying? General. I was gonna say, do you think there's any hope of walking off this show with a with a real relationship? Do you think you, maybe maybe you come oh, on Jubilee? And this, yeah, and this is how you find the one. Uh, the the nectar one I did. Um, the person who won. Yeah, they were pretty. Con they were they were into each other. Wow. Oh. Uh, the girl who was in who was the one who we were fighting for. She was on like Love Island. She's like a reality star. Oh, okay. Um, I she love chose Love Island. She's someone, she chose someone from it, uh, didn't even talk to her, like, after, everyone, like, hangs out afterwards or whatever. Yeah. They were so, like, back, like, into each other. Yeah. Oh. I think it's, it's bad to be, if you're a career reality star, it's bad to be in a couple. Because. <clears throat> not necessarily. Because it's like, who's gonna you. pick you for your People fucking. People love shipping couples. Oh, Depends. Or sheesh. you just find someone you like and that's also good in life. Yeah, yeah, but I think people who go on reality dating shows aren't looking like they're they're broken love human if beings. If you were on Love Island, yeah, put not me. you, yeah, you, yeah. Oh, I just don't think I have the body for it, but <laughs> you, I do think I have the personality. You'll get there. It. Yeah, but I don't want to like you work on break dancing for a while. Oh, so that's no, yeah. that's great for body. Nick form. wants you to get stronger. Mm -hmm. Get strong for I him. Get, I think it would be good because I'm the one who's not strong, mm -hmm. but I'm. I could just talk to them, and I'll be better than the guys who are strong. What mm -hmm. is your most done physical activity? Uh, <laughs> don't say sex with girls. Don't say hot girls. Don't say being off. Don't say only sex with hot girls. Most done physical activity. I'll do like push-ups every day. Like oh really? Thirty push-ups. Shit. Every day. 
I mean, I don't do that much otherwise. Then. So it's like, but you still do thirty push. I used to run like a like a couple miles a day. Uh, I kind of stopped doing that recently just because. Do you smoke a lot of weed? No, I I have before. I don't smoke weed at all. I don't oh. really drink either. Um, you did in college, right? Well, yeah, like, I did. It's the thing we where did. mostly when like, you bought it for you, him. But I mean, if if I did not get there. a weed, I did not get a weed. <laughs> like I love how you're drawing a hard line. Like I I would never get him something that's arguably better to do. I got him eight balls. <laughs> you got him eight balls. <laughs> that's yeah. expensive. I know. That's crazy. He had money. He's a rapper. <laughs> yeah. Uh no, but I I don't it's also not age prohibited. You just have to know the guy. I didn't even ask. He was like, fucking take this. Yeah, it was sick. Uh no, but I do take Adderall every day. Okay. Diagnosed. So you're wired. Diagnosed or for funsies? Are you on Diagnosed. extended extended twenties or uh four hours? They last four hours. So what's your milligram dosage? Twenty. Twenty IR? Yes. I'm on it right now. That's fucking I have some in my backpack. My go. He used to take Adderall. I Hell did, yeah. and then I had a heart condition, so I can't anymore. That's going to be me in like eight years. Yeah, yeah, it'll be Hell great. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Eight years to catch up to you. My heart condition, loving too much. I'm only going to get <laughs> older. <laughs> <That's> specifically. <laughs> yeah. Also, you're going to get older, too. Nah. What, do you turn 28 this year? I will never turn 28. Oh, have you <laughs> I, what? You'll never do that? <laughs> 28 is so old. So you want to end it in the club. I will end it in the club. I'll never sunset. Someone, dude, someone asked me my age recently. I said 25, which is wrong. I'm 26. And I realized I was 26 after saying that, and I got sad. Yep. I was like, oh, fuck. Our yeah. friend Kyle, he's like, I'm turning 31, and it's so much worse than turning 30. It's like, feels way worse. It's interesting to be, that's not even a bad name, but it's interesting to be 31 and Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. There was a guy, I, was at a, I, <laughs> I didn't think a, they'd make it that far. <laughs> I, went to, I went to a Yankees game, uh, like, in 2021. I was I in New York. That. I was like, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, on the jumbo, I took a picture of it because I thought it was funny. On the jumbotron in like seventh inning, they said "Happy thirtieth birthday, Connor." <laughs> Con <laughs> like, Connor is a boy's name. That's a that's a fourteen year old. Name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They gotta it, change it. it. It should turn into Carl or something. Like, like a Pokemon evolution. Yeah. You just switch at like level you thirty. You have to switch to certain. Age. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Well, shout shout out to the people where they can currently find you if they want to listen to some of your tunes or videos. Perhaps what do you what do you plug? Uh, YouTube.com slash r slash Nelk Boys <laughs> um, slash r slash. That's yeah. Reddit. That's the YouTube subreddit. That's the YouTube thing. Oh, oh, this is the one, you, bro. <laughs> See how she's looking? She's like, fuck. Yeah, this, this is, is another wave. wave video of huge Why wave. Why is it always a bridge? <laughs> but also, like, where are they running? Where it's always a bridge. <laughs> what? I mean, you gotta run somewhere. You have to run. No, you get in the car but for like, sure. But I don't want her to get hit by the you wave. You get in the car. But... You get in the car because you can live in the car because they'll have oxygen. You no, can... no, 100%. <laughs> yeah, go in, the, go in the place where all the glass is. You guys are saying no, like and running in the, the metal. Like, you smarter. don't. You don't get in the car. You. Would, it's like when you, you run on the bridge and so hope bad. that you can somehow beat. This is actually a really bad tsunami. Well, this is not the, good. But yeah. like the top of the wave looks oh, like shit. the regular ocean. Maybe you Whoa. could just swim up there. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that'd be crazy. Dude, we could probably put you in front of a TV with waves on it and give you like. Twice your dose of would, Adderall, that would and be, you'd be chilling. <laughs> that would be one of if I was in a big wave scene, that would be <laughs> that's genuinely like I would send it to my parents and I'd be like, This is such a good day <laughs> for me. All right, if Mom, you Dad, do stream, it. you should play uh, big City waves, Skyline. Like, <laughs> is that what it's called? What is it? What do you say? The what, City Skylanders? Skyline, I think. <laughs> that's where you control a city and you can have tsunamis crash over the city. Oh, that's thinking, a game? You can, yeah, you, you can, can play make like natural the, disasters well, happen. It's cool if you make it happen. Supposed to be a thing that happens. It can also be random. Oh, you can do random like disasters, and you are like the city Good. planner. You can play like the Surf's Up Wii game, <laughs> like the like the penguin one. Yeah, yeah they made a Wii game about it. <laughs> like a really big they made one. a Wii game about disaster. 2012. The movie they do surf the big wave. Yeah, Whoa. yeah there's a big wave in that one. I should watch that movie again. <laughs> Probably should. Watch it's a great it. movie. It's not oh, a yeah. great. Good movie. Good licensed soundtrack. What is that sound? The visitors play Minecraft again. Yeah. Imagine Just if you play Enderman Minecraft while we're doing this. <laughs> sound <laughs> through the TV. Uh, oh no, but my I'm gonna actually Well do what you want. Name. You know I if uh, if if it's I would. too Hell yeah. Yeah. Instagram Instagram Nutstar. <laughs> nutstar? <laughs> nutstar, one word. That's great. It's yeah. a really good one. Uh also thank you for posting that YouTube of me. I gained like ten thousand followers. I put oh, your Instagram yeah. in the it was very dope thing, I think. On yeah. Instagram you did? Yes. That's, that's those that's those fucking mogul moves that he makes. Oh, you that's know it. what I'm yeah. saying? Yo, that looks like a real photo. Of you. I had America's eight, sweetheart. Eight thousand followers. Extremely good at talking to women. In parentheses, many have said. Yeah, I mean, people have been a saying A lot that. of pe people have been saying that, though. <laughs> many people have said. There's a whole ass two YouTube <laughs> videos with people it, talking well, about it in the comments. It works. Hell yeah. Thousands. Uh, I'm glad. 
So yeah, thank in, you. In conclusion, I was cool in college. I got alcohol for a bunch I do, of bikes. I do hate that he gets away with that today. <laughs> yeah. I thought maybe we'd hurt him more. No, I was very nice. Yeah, yeah he was cool. I was also probably, and I think this is fair to say, similar to now, pretty close off. Like, I feel like I didn't... No, you were exactly the same, I would say. I don't think there's a different dynamic at all. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I did appreciate how I was like a freshman and you interacted with me. Aww. Aww. Because it's definitely clicky. It was super yeah. clicky. Yeah, and big, even within the group, would be f yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah, hundred percent. Well, he, really, just because yeah, you get like your friends. You want to know what you'd yeah. be like drunk? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 he needed somebody to sell to. I like a little <laughs> bit to start. I mean, it's nice to hear. It's nice to hear where your sunrise was while your sun's heading. <laughs> yeah, kill yourself. <laughs> and now uh, the, the podcast will sunset. So we go into the premium episode. Yeah, thank Patreon. you so much for coming on. Uh, and we'll we'll be in talks every time you message the yard account. It will be talking to Cam, and we will pay him a, a double we'll digit number. I'll do one, it. A one time Flat. fee. A one Flat time rate. fee. One for time a lifetime of work. No. I mean, yeah. I guess, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you guess. I got nothing else going on. <laughs> <laughs> we know. And that's how we exploit uh, labor on this podcast. Just like, just like those women outside the bar for a lot of these old YouTube videos. That's what Tucker yeah. told me to do. Well, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thoughts on her gay daughter in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. See you in the pre will. And then they go to the hotel room, and who's there but the Nelk no! Bros? Yes, dude! dude. You're literally Help! having a pussy. Help! Help! Hey, what? Hey, it's okay. What? Help me! Oh, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, man. Why it's all right. are you yelling, bud? 